who the fuss is this? What? Page me and five. Turn the music up. In the morning, crack a dawning. Now I'm yawning. Wipe the cold out my eye. See who's this page of me and why? It's my nigga Pop from the barbershop. Told me he was in the gambling spot. Heard the intricate plot. Niggas want to stick me like fly paper, neighbor. Slow down, love. Chill, chill, drop the caper. Remember them terrorists? <laughs> she was friends with it. When he was eight years old. McCain is just grabbing for straws now. Oh, he can't I don't even know. Yeah, well, he can't really I, for I don't even know what 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 is he what is he saying? I just cut on my TV and there's uh uh, yeah. uh Miss Miss Midwest vernacular. <laughs> and you can't trust a guy palling around. What is he doing? With a known Terry He's palling around. <laughs> with a known terrorist. How do you spell that, sir? Palling around. <laughs> just like my Let me ask you one question. Alaska. <laughs> Let me ask you one question, Sierra. Yeah. Are you saying that Barack Obama is a terrorist? Is that the implication? If that's how bad we don't got, we don't scoop I mean, that long. I mean, to that point. I mean, are you saying that the dude now? Now, what, what's what's getting crazy is what's getting crazy is that people now are yelling out at these uh, conventions or right. whatever. Brother, did you see that, brother? And, and, I, and he's a oh nigger. Man, no. he's when such a nigger in blackface. Nigger. Black face. Black face. When I tell you my heart no, I just hurt, gotta man. call it like I said. When he this said, nigga stood up. He's just a nigger. Oh, oh. I, had to, I had to Paul Mooney him. Oh, yes, he's a, oh, <laughs> he's he's a, a nigger. He's a, he's he's a, a nigger. He needs his own show called Coonan O'Brien. Coonan and Friends. Woo! He got a show called I Tell On But what is getting scary is now is that he has people in the audience. Yelling terrorist. Who is he? Yeah. And uh, McCain. Right. Yes. McCain and Sarah Palin have yeah, people in the audience yelling. The, now what they're that doing? Is, they're making people volatile, and we don't right. need that. Because yeah. I'm gonna tell you right now, radio listeners, if something happens to Barack, it's gonna be hell to pay you for goddamn all right. of you motherfuckers. I'm and I'm who? letting you know right now, all of you motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm already. Oh, know I say it's gonna be hell to pay. You think you got? You don't you, want that one. You think you got tortured? <laughs> You don't want I'm gonna go put some elbows on you, boy. Yeah. I'm gonna take, 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 take some knees out your arm and put them in your elbows, McCain. Okay? That nigga Sarah got the ball like the uh, rocket soccer robot. If, if anything happened to Barack, I'm gonna go get a Cessna, a, a single engine Cessna, <laughs> and I'm gonna be flying over Alaska shooting at Sarah Palin. And mooses. No. And I'm gonna have on a moose skin jacket. Ah. So you gonna blend right in. I'm gonna drop right hockey in. pucks on everybody. I, anything happen there, don't a, put it to you this way. Don't make it like that. Right. It ain't got to yeah. be like it that. Ain't gotta, you know it how, ain't got to be like that. You know how black people like, like, yeah. Barack has been cool, man, cool. cool. Hey, motherfucker, you yeah. ain't got to be like that. Yeah, right. You ain't got to say, say, Sam. Look at player. <laughs> Look at player. <laughs> it, it's almost like they're appealing to the racist out there. Yeah, that's yeah. right. They're, they're trying yeah. to get that racist Because vote. every other thing has red, and failed. Red, I, red, I, red, I didn't red, know snake. that he hired the same dudes that dissed him when he was running for president. They work for his campaign. Yeah, like he's and his boys. Nigga. Then if you watch this, McCain lost complete control of his people. Yeah. Oh yeah, they yeah. start yelling and his bowels. For a minute, for a minute, they were like, they were almost like kill the nigga. Yes, pretty much. Kill the nigga. Yeah, who yeah. again? Yeah, the and then McCain game. was like, a oh, shit, yeah. did I really want to start yeah. this? Get a rope. Uh, How'd yeah. y'all read my notes? <laughs> and a, lot of, a lot of people have been talking about his uh, reference to this one. Oh, that, no, was that, one, that one. That one. This right here. What he really was saying is that and, nigga and there. That, that nigga there. Yeah, it, if it, you it, want your country right into the ground, it's it's that, that nigga. nigga. Right. Yeah. The <laughs> next time, the next time you're gonna hear McCain, he'll be saying, "Well, he got a, a C on his third grade book report. <laughs> he did, and he shouldn't be elected." <laughs> okay, okay. Let's, let's, oh, take okay. A, let's take a pause. Yeah. You got that? Yeah. You got that? Yeah. No, let's just take a pause right here for Louis. 
What's steaks that? in here. It's just a little <laughs> st- disinfectant. <laughs> There's steaks in after oh that. that, that it's show. Jamie Foxx, Fox on radio. What's cracking? Oh, the crack of your, your ass. ass. It's going down in the house we got. Chris Spencer. In the house we got. Yo, it's Speedy, baby. What the fuck? Uh, in the house we got. OG Poet is. Oh, oh shit. shit. In the house we got. LD. Okay. Uh. And in the house we got the defense attorney for OJ Simpson. <laughs> Who is still waiting on his check to clear? <laughs> he gathered all of the evidence, but for some reason it just didn't work out. I have the defense attorney for OJ Simpson in front of me. His last name oh, is Mac. Shit. His first name is Johnny. His middle name is Motherfucking. And when they said I object, they said there goes Johnny Motherfucking Mac. Mac. And I said you got away with one, OJ. <laughs> you can't win them all. What in the fuck? You can't score happened? every time, nigga. You is can't this score the every craziest time. shit the in the world? OJ Simpson <laughs> is in fucking jail. Oh, and they man. say he broke down after. Yeah, he should. He yeah, did. Yeah, I saw it. Because you know what? The nigga blew it. He yeah. blew it. Yeah, he blew it. I hope he, he voted before he, he got convicted. He could have sent a nigga in to go get his <laughs> oh, shit. He voted before he got convicted. He could have sent a nigga. Go get my shit. He could have got Marcus well, Allen to do it. The jury says <laughs> that. Hey, man, it's, it's, it's payback. He could have got Fannie Mae in him to go get the shit. <laughs> but, but, but this is how you know you black. This is how you know you black. You still feel bad, didn't you? When they got OJ, yeah, when they when I they did. put the cuffs it's on, some, it. listen, it's something about just being black. I, yeah, look, I did. You can't get Jewish people root for Jewish people, they black do. people just root for black people. Well, it wasn't so you much black. He was so old as OJ, sixty-two. Nigga, they had to put Ben Gay on his arm to put it behind his back. They had the McCainy. No, <laughs> did you see when they put the cuffs on? He kind of squinted a little bit. I went, man, oh, but he, yeah, he broke no down. More. Wait a minute, dog, Johnny. For the, was, listen to me. They, for the rest of his life. That's no not more true. coke and white jizz. girls. That's no not more true. white jizz. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, it's no, it's, 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 it's some white meat in there, but you don't want that meat. Yeah. They don't give you, they don't what well, a lot of people well, think that is, the jury uh, are, is punishing him for the murder well, of Nicole. They are. they are. But they say that Nigga, they have, they've they been influenced by the audio tape. That's what they're saying. Oh, look, where does oh, one I mean, let's just cut. Let's, 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 let's really just right, cut to the... who was recording? That's what I don't get. Let's who just cut to the... Let's concept? just cut to the Rodney chase. Rodney King. The same nigga from the Rodney King tape. <laughs> 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 let's just cut to the chase. We know they got OJ back. Yeah. And it was yeah. 13 years to the that day. The day. That's Oh, oh, but it was like, fucked up. He killed them motherfuckers too, though. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, yeah, he did. He wasn't there. He wasn't there. At, at the end, at the end, at the end, at the end, he felt like he did kill them motherfuckers. But I, I don't, I don't. OJ, but he was smooth. He was smooth for Ron 13 years. Ron Goldman stole some shit from his No, that's the problem. He wasn't smooth for 13 years. 13 years for the day. That nigga was on golf course, golf courses. Still in cable. And he wrote the bestseller. Don't forget the book. The book. Yep. If I did it. If I did it. Remember your joke? You did it. You did. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, L.A. is blowing it, by the way. Oh, yeah, no, no. But right. O.J. Simpson is gone. Uh, not yeah. really, though. I, I believe it. I believe it because he got, well, he's the, got pills. No, the lady the said, pills, the pill, the lady said but, no appeals. Yeah, no, but, they've already been granted an appeal December 5th. Yeah, but, you but can't he, get an no, appeal. No, he, he can't get out on the appeal. No, he, no, gets he sentenced. Knows. He gets sentenced sentence on December, December 5th. 5th. Then that's when the appeal takes The lady place. said no appeal. She don't know shit. She's never been arrested. So how can she say no appeals? <laughs> Isn't that their right that's to the right. do an appeal? Uh, not if you're OJ. No. Yeah. <laughs> you had your turn, motherfucker. Right, you got a right to get on the 405, nigga. That's now, it. I've said this. Over and Say over again, again that again. OJ was going to blow it. Yep. Every yep. fucking time I went on stage, I said, if you don't sit your... Uh, Remember Miami? Miami? <laughs> this nigga showed up. Say, we're in Miami at a party. I'm throwing a party. Everybody in the party and shit. And all of a sudden, I see uh, people like clutching the, clutching the pearls <laughs> because Orenthal comes into the party they like it's all Were they, they, they holding their pearls or their necks? Nigga, he cleared the like, way. It was the They cleared a scene. path. And they and, and so he cut his way through. <laughs> OJ <laughs> oh, <laughs> comes in and you know we all grabbed the mic. Yes. And, and First I, thing you said was, "Oh shit, we got a killer party." <laughs> <laughs> OJ's in the house. And he cut the rug, ain't he? <laughs> <laughs> he got that cut the rug. But somehow. OJ's a smooth motherfucker. That's what made me think. What's up? That's what made me think this motherfucker did this because he was stealth. Remember, he grabbed you. Because he grabbed so me. He, he found me in the DJ booth and grabbed me. He said, what's up with all that old bullshit? Oh, did he? And I said, sure hey, I hey, 
Hey! Oh, your voice is higher than that. Hey! Hey, hey Juice! <laughs> Why you squeezing me? Hey, Juice! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Hey, papaya juice. <laughs> yeah, he grabs you like you was a, one of his stolen trophies. <laughs> what, tro- oh, what, man, what trophy was he going to? It wasn't the Heisman? Because uh, so, he said he didn't have the Heisman. No. So what, what was he going to, to retrieve? The Heisman? Uh, I don't know. Flag football trophy. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what? they had jerseys and all kind of stuff. I, heard. I mean, that came from his house or where? Yeah, they had a couple of his kids in there, too. <laughs> ah. Oh, wow. right, Lewis. I kind of like that one. That was a kind of good one. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I mean, you got you to gotta check the source. Lewis, well, you got to look at your notes. I look gotta, at your notes, Lewis. Yo, yo, but didn't you have a deflating feeling? It hurt. Yeah, it hurt. Yeah, I when like OJ it. went to. But, I but are OJ. we wrong? I, I Are we wrong? I watched this. He killed them white people, he, didn't he? I don't but know. But they he killed, killed, killed them, them yeah. white people. No, he didn't. Yeah, you, you know, I, 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 I was surprised that, that he yes, was found. I believe he was there. I believe he was there. I was surprised he was found guilty on all 12 charges. That I sat cold. there and saw Yo, them hand that he down. He killed them white people. No, he man. did not, Fox. I agree with Fox. Man. I know. He, he killed did. them. No, he was there. What if OJ came out and just said, fuck it, I killed him? He did. Yeah, like, what he, did. he was there, Fox. It? He was there. He didn't kill him. Nigga, what would you be there? I'm going to go hire some people. to be. Hey, man, I want you to kill these motherfuckers. But well, don't kill them before 8.15 because I'm coming through. Wait till I get there. He Wait till I get there before you. Let me get a good seat. Let me get a good seat. Let me put my feet. Let me put my feet in the blood. But what about your flight? What about your flight, OJ? And I Did you see OJ's flight. face when he was putting the handcuffs on him? He yeah. looked at the judge like, nigga, I thought you went to SC. <laughs> <laughs> you used to block for me, nigga. <laughs> so now Still was right. it a girl nigga. judge? It was a girl judge. Yeah, right? female. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that yeah, did yeah. it. So, so and you an don't... all white jury. Yeah. Yeah, well, oh, right. well, they go, you invade. Don't you Whoa. understand that the motherfucker couldn't get even get? They were gonna try to put him in jail even if he got a parking ticket. <laughs> Nigga, it, well, it, all white jury. That's that's not a jury. No, maybe, maybe he had yes, the accident. Yes, yes, it is. That's all. That's yeah. all yeah, who he hangs with. Wow. That's all. Yeah, OJ. Them come the people back. he cut was white folks. Why yeah. not let them come back, OJ? So, 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 really, call in if you think OJ did it. I don't want to know if he and 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 specify if you're white. Please or do. if you're black, because it still comes down to it's a racial thing. Niggas think he didn't do it. White folks know he did it. What about black people? Okay, now for this black case, people. D- do you think a lot of black people are like, damn, OJ? I yeah. think black people like, say it again, goody bro. for your ass. No, black folks ain't saying yes, that. Yes, they are. No, they're not. Yes, I am, shit. Motherfucker the only the Republican black people are saying that. No, uh, <laughs> one thing no, sure. no, 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 no. I, I believe OJ. I mean, OJ was too. Look, was, put it to you this way. I believe it's Somebody it. killed. OJ's ex-wife. E- ex-wife, mother to his kids. So that's listen, what, listen, that's what I'm saying. That's supposed to listen. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. What the fuck you talking about? Yeah, they like broke up. <laughs> the kids left him too. Yeah, hey, yeah, I, yeah, I can bet on that one. Yeah. Hey, look at that. Look at that. Look at let, me, let me ask this. Somebody kills your ex-wife right. and the mother of your children. Yes. Right. Fuck that you hated. You mean, to tell, you mean to tell me you wouldn't exhaust yourself trying to find out who the killer was? He had was. a reward. I'm unless, to find unless. Who the but and you see but how much if you don't like her. You see how much you put to do with the kids. You see how death. much. You talking about death? No, you're but right, no, Fox. You're right. Trust me. No, no, you're right, Fox. If I don't like the bitch. Well, no, no. Okay, Speedy. Down. Okay, Speedy. You're driving. you right now. You're driving your uh your your value all. It was already bad. No, look look at it. People call in. Let us know what you think. We already got to tell me, Speedy. That if one somebody killed one of your baby mamas, <laughs> yes, you got, you, got 13, you got thirteen to choose from. You got, you got <laughs> no, I, I, I <laughs> okay, you put it that way. That, that's yeah, just yeah. one of them, Speedy. I only got, got one baby. But then that mean I ain't got to pay her. No, I only got one baby's mama. You're absolutely uh, right, Fox. If somebody hurt them, hurt, no, Tim hurt, Rain's hurt her. House, knowing how much it would have hurt them, yes, I'd have to go after. I'm them. just asking. I'd have this. to go after. Them. Here's what made me. This is what made me say that's I knew OJ did it. You know why? why? Because right after he, right after he was not guilty, uh, this motherfucker had a look on his face like he winked at the camera. <laughs> he winked at the camera like Sarah Palin, <laughs> <laughs> like he gonna go shoot some more moose. <laughs> and then he went and started playing golf and yeah. hanging out He's supposed at the club. But Johnny Mac, but let me ask, let me ask a fundamental life. question, Johnny Mac. Right. If somebody killed the mother of your children, right? Would you not exa- Wouldn't you look? Even when people go missing for six weeks, they right. do a drive, and there's people walking in the bushes with dogs. But and, you got to admit, he was at first he was in jail for a whole year, year for the trial. But Johnny, so Mack, he, he couldn't go. But he didn't know where to go. Okay, okay, here go. He didn't know where to go. Look, here's another question. Here's another question. 
you know how people set up a fund or they set up yeah. something he did. in honor of his in honor of his missing he, he wife. Did he did. Yeah. No, no, he didn't. He when, had a golf when? tournament. Oh. <laughs> and he donated all his memorabilia, oh. all his memorabilia to oh. Reno. Yes. <laughs> and he said, "Whoever, whoever has the, whoever has the best slice wants hundred thousand. Oh. Yeah, if you could cut it on the oh. green, you could get it. Oh. 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 Yo, we already so got wrong. a call about so OJ. So you telling me they just didn't cut OJ any slack? They didn't. Oh. <laughs> oh. They didn't cut him any slack. <laughs> Am I wrong? No, I'm wrong. You be feeling bad for OJ. No, fuck no, OJ. no, no. You right to feel I'm bad. I'm wrong for OJ. to feel bad. You are right. I'm fuck him. Nah. You, say, you say Fox was white to feel right. Oh, right. He right. said he was white. To feel Get the meatloaf out your ears, nigga. That a bitch. Well, we already got a caller. Caller, call talk to who me. you. What you want to say? Uh, we got Walsh from Texas. <laughs> Walsh B. Don't get arrested. Yeah. Uh, Walsh. Are you on the grass? You know, nigga. What's happening? <laughs> 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 Hello. Yeah, Hello. Yeah, speak to us. Go ahead. Oh, you got Walt B. Okay, cool. Hey, OJ will never get a fair trial anywhere in America. You know right. it, and I know it. Right. Okay. And if Ron Goldman was in such great shape, he would have whooped OJ's ass. <laughs> See? Okay. He would have whooped his ass because you got to stick one of them first. <laughs> oh. But when you do that at the same time, you know nobody Somebody ever looked it. at the two dead waiters from Meza from Mezzaluna. And they never looked at the one who was missing from Mesa Luna. And what's up with the old broad who saw two guys running from the scene? She OJ was old. Well, she Where the hell OJ, OJ going to run from? Yeah, you're right. The golf right. cart to the, to the green? <laughs> well, I disagree. I think uh, he got fuck? it. What the fuck? Hey, Jamie Foxx for president. Fuck the bullshit. Hey, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. Jamie Foxx for president. Can you imagine? They do a and background check on you. And I'll paint the house do the brown. <laughs> hey, thanks for the call, Walsh. Appreciate Wall. the call, Walsh. That was very... That I was never thought about that. I, I mean, this is a psychological thing that Eight, I'm dealing seven, with. 17, I feel bad one oh six. OJ is in jail. I do should too. I not feel for him? Don't feel Yes, he should. did that. Yeah. Well, no, you know, I, he killed him. He didn't do it, though. He was there. He was there. I don't know. him. I don't know about the murder, but I definitely think the robbery thing was very stupid. But how could you get him for a uh, 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 armed robbery? He didn't have a fucking gun. The other nigga the had other the gun. And he, the, the, yeah, two of the guys. But the gun had OJ's had... picture on it. <laughs> <laughs> and they said OJ was the one. It, it had 32 leader. on the handle. <laughs> My question is, who was recording the conversation? Because it the almost sounds like dude. it was a setup. That's right. It was a setup. The white, when the, y'all gonna the, realize that? The so white dude called him. Fucking set OJ up. And, and go notice, to, notice the pictures. Wait a minute. First it. of all, I and know one OJ. of the guy. I know one of the guys that was there with OJ. Remember Spence from Las Vegas? Remember Spence? He yeah. used to ride that. Re- used to drive a red Ferrari, dark yeah. skin cat. Yep. Spence. Yep. Spence was one of the guys that was in on. So set he's up. in jail too. No. Hell no. Wow. He's in, he's in he, on the phone call. We got another phone call. Uh-oh. We got my man Low Life from Alabama. Low Life. What's, What's up, Let me break it down. Sit there, get light. Did that film. I got caught with three chickens at a Pip Ilsa, and I got four years, and this nigga doing triple life for some baseball cards. I don't know if he's guilty or not, but I'll be sitting if I will. <laughs> that's got to be the butt like call of the day. Uh, that's a Man. sterile thing to say for uh, some baseball call. <laughs> How much time is it getting low life? <laughs> How much time is it getting? For some baseball call. I'm out here throwing a crank and shooting. Some tight car baseball call. Hold on. Go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead low life. I'm still in that. All right. He said, hey, I'm, hey, I'm hey, out there selling crack and I got less time. Look at this call in on this cell. Got to know your jury of your kids. It's a citizen arrest, nigga. Thank you, low life. It's Jamie Fox, call. Fox on radio. What's cracking? Other, Other than a crack of your ass. We are, we, I'm just dumbfounded. Things are going crazy. You're They're dumb. calling Barack a, a terrorist. A terrorist. OJ is going to jail. Let what is free. going free. Are they trying to get us to fight? I, I don't want to have to fight nobody. 877-2-106-106 is the number. Call in. Hey. Call in and tell you if, if you think OJ got a fair shake or if you thought that he had it coming. To me, I feel bad that OJ is bad. gone. I feel bad. But at the same time, fuck OJ. Why? Because OJ was smug and arrogant, and he knew that if he had done the shit, he didn't have his exit strategy right. He, he did. Had, he should have set up a, a... He went right a, up the middle. He should have... <laughs> <laughs> Student body right. Hey, he ain't talking about... <laughs> he did a down and out. <laughs> okay, let me, let me ask you this. Are we being insensitive to, to the people no. that, that were killed? No, they've been there for a while. And 
I think out of 10 years, wait. No other worms being in this town? Well, the Goldmans are certainly celebrating. Yes. Yeah, they, they don't you think happy. they should, though? He stuck their kid. Yes. He didn't we do don't it, know Fox. That. We don't know was that. Was you there? Well, okay, let me ask you this. Was you there? Okay, we have an LAPD guy here right now. He was not at work at that time. Officer Paul. He was at the donut shop. Paul. Rampart, yes. Who you, who you, do you think OJ tell the truth. You you, the don't, tell, don't tell them who you are. Sofficer. Get on the mic, Sofficer. Yeah. Cream, his, his real name is Sofficer. Johnny Mac. How about that? It's the Creamfield. Uh, it's the Creamfield cop. OJ did it straight up. <laughs> Why you Bottom think that? Line. Why, Why do you think, think that? Because nobody's going to kill on people like that. It's a, hit, it's a heat of passion crime. You feel yeah, me? but it's two people. Multiple, mo mul multiple stab well, wounds consistent with being angry. It's not a hit. If it's a drug hit, motherfucker will come in broad daylight and smoke you. Right. See what I'm saying? So, so multiple stabs, cutting the bitch's head off, stabbing her multiple times. But how could he, he do two people at one time? He had a double. He walked up on it. He walked up on it. <laughs> he walked up on Goldman it. Goldman was already, or homegirl was already down the wall, and then uh, Goldman came and uh, got it. So, and it. then, and then I heard that he Talking said, if she timing. hadn't come to the door with a knife, he she would still be living. Living. Who said? Now who said she came that? With a knife. That, well, that I, you know, the dog said that. This is what I think. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Vick's dog. <laughs> All right, go ahead. We got somebody else. Right, we, we got, got another caller from the ATL. We got my man John. How do you feel about it, John? Talk to us, man. Uh, I feel like I think OJ should have taken a lesson, man. He got over the first time. He should take a lesson by Michael Jackson, man. Get off. Hit Europe. We should be hearing about OJ in Europe, living life well, not even doing America, not advertising himself at all, man. He should just skip the whole country. As soon as he got the first time. Yeah, okay. But since they let him off, you know, it's a good thing they got him back this time. I think it frees up, you know, they got a little victory. So now, you know, maybe Barack will have a little bit easier time. They got one. At least they got somebody that they can say they locked him up. <laughs> now, now, oh, the question like is, that. how much time would OJ have done had he got convicted? Would have been, it would have been life, right? He'd have got the chance. Yeah, got the yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what happened? He gets 25000 a month. So where does that money go now? What? He What's gets on his books. That goes on his books. Okay. Well, I've never been to jail. Noodles. Noodles. Like, you know, we we have some special guests well, in the you house. You should have went to jail. You probably wouldn't be single. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. <laughs> I'm not here. <laughs> oh, come on, come on. <laughs> we have the talented. We have the Legends. pioneer. We have the legend. Tim and Thomas. And Tim Reed is in the house. Yeah. Tom yeah. Dreesen. Yes. Right. Tom Dreesen. Tim Reed. I did the warm up on your show. When you Better known as Venus right? Flat Track. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys actually have a radio show. Tim, I mean, this is Tim, like we're going. Tim, I, Tim, I, Tim I, let me goes into a recorder. This <laughs> is like Black Howard Stern. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, you don't have to be. You know, you don't have to be a Christian here. You know, oh, I know. I can kill that by coming. Yeah, door. right <laughs> off the bat. You, so it, it's 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 our own radio station. We started out. Uh, Man, just just a little train that could, <laughs> and some chugga, little chugga chug, and the little girl came along, and, superhead, and, and, and superhead took us came on and turned out. But yeah. we have, man, we reached close to 17 million listeners, man. Right. So uh, it's well, just a place shit. for us to come and do. I think. Don't never mind these uncivilized cats. We ain't shit. <laughs> they they ain't shit. You know, these they ain't shit. Yeah. What's going on with you, man? Well, we got a new book out. My partner and I uh, got a book out called Tim and Tom. Uh, uh, comedy in black and white just hit the streets, and we've been going around the country talking about it. This is an era that a lot of you guys weren't even born when we were doing comedy back it's in the, the 70s, day. man. Louis uh, Dick, uh, late, uh, late 60s. Uh, Louis, so Dick, Louis Dick was there. Louis Dick's medal for them. Yeah, he, <laughs> yeah, he, he was just, he an, he was was just an image in his father's eye. He <laughs> wasn't there. No way. That was a crack father. father. That was a crack father. Wait, Tim, tell everybody, I, I know because I'm a comic, but tell everybody who your partner Tom Dreesen is. Tom yeah. Dreesen. Uh, you don't do the the white clubs. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Dreesen and I worked all kinds of clubs. Yeah. Black clubs. We worked what was then the Chitlin Circuit, you know, mm -hmm. High Chaparral, Burning Spear, and uh, Sugar Shack in Boston, and uh, wow. Club uh, uh, Carl Pollum. And we also worked white clubs. You know, we worked the uh, Playboy guys, Circuit. Did you guys do a lot of dr any drugs? Mm -hmm. that, that nobody <laughs> nobody could afford drugs yeah. back did then. You hang <laughs> John, did you hang out with Johnny Carson? <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, he used to open for Frank Sinatra. Really? Yeah. Wow. And, and Sammy Davis. And While he was working for Sammy Davis in Vegas, I was on a topless bar in Washington. But that's another story. <laughs> Burning, ah, yeah. Burning Spear. I, he did OJ and Split. <laughs> <laughs> so how, how was that? How was that era of comedy? You know, in the sixties or whatever. You... We were America's first black and white comedy team. And what's more significant than that is that we were the last. You know, that was wow. until years Obama years. and McCain. <laughs> 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 Hey, hold on one th second, Tim. I don't know if you looked around the room. I'm the only white boy in here. Don't start no shit. <laughs> no, Tom, don't worry about it. You can play the burning spear. I think you can make it here. I did that, yeah. yeah. I did that. Look, no, okay. you at the spear okay. chunker. Continue talking, Tom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
I, I had uh, uh, He said Tom. That's Tim. Tim. Oh, you're Tom. No, 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 no Tom. You right don't here. call no Tom. brother Tom. What's wrong with you? <laughs> 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 he looks like a Timothy. Do I look like a Tom to you? <laughs> Tommy <laughs> Timothy. All right, you young oh, bloods. Like I tell Tom. you, you I young watched the show though. You watched. And you didn't know his name. All right, speed. That was the best era at the time. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead, go ahead, brother. You go. Ahead. I wasn't <laughs> saying. <laughs> no, I'm just saying that we. So uh, you know, we started out on the south side of Chicago, and we wow. were, uh, again we were America's first black. But you got to remember when we started. This was right after the passage of the Civil Rights Act, five years removed. Wow. They just killed two of our great leaders, Kennedy and and Martin Luther King. And my father was a delegate at the 68 convention. They fought on the hood of my car. We just had wow. Fred Hampton. Uh, drug revolution, sex revolution. He and I run around trying to make people laugh, and uh, people didn't like some of it. Didn't like. They attacked us on stage, run us out of town. What do you mean they attacked you? Uh, fourth time on stage, a guy put a cigarette out of my face. Some white race races. And, How did uh, he get that close? Yeah, you know, I, I thought it. he was coming for an autograph. Maybe a self defense <laughs> What was Tom doing? Yeah, what was Tom, so doing Tom said, time. "Hey, but Tom lit the cigarette." <laughs> <laughs> Look out. <laughs> Tom, Tom said, Dad, get off the stage. <laughs> We're a team, Dad. Come on. Uh, that act is going up in okay. smoke. So, so, so it was volatile at that time. You guys were trying to bring implement comedy into yeah. a volatile thing because that had to be very, yeah, very... Oh, rough it was era. a little well, different. It was a blood sport back then. Let me tell you what happened. The guy put a lit cigarette on Tim's face and then proceeded to beat me damn near half to death. Now, I boxed when I was in the service. And I knew how to handle myself on the streets because I had my nose broke a couple of times. But right. this guy outweighed Tim and I both by 100 pounds. Right. And when the Donnybrook started, it's into a real Donny brawl. Brook. We Donny call it, Brook. Yeah, we got Donnybrook. I keep trying I, to get I'm it. To laugh at when it. the ass kicking started. When, yeah. when, the, when the brouhaha. <laughs> when the Tom Foolery got <laughs> So as soon as you guys so get on stage. Both of y'all got your no. ass whooped. No, this, no, was this was after, after our show. Oh, after after the show. We were having the drinks. So you got your ass whooped and you got. No, we, we, I got my ass whooped. We both got our ass whooped. But we, when we got on the same dude? Yeah, this was a. This dude was. He was former football player. His cat was something else. His rose. I grabbed his arm. I literally took two hands to grab his arm and I took a bottle of ketchup and I hit him as hard as I could with the ketchup and he ignored me. Wow. wow. I said, boy, Tom's in trouble. Oh, shit. Now, had you finished doing you guys? Yeah, like, we're, oh, yeah, we're, we're finished. Yeah. Don't mean like the next day did you have to come back and do it? Yeah, yeah. we had yeah. come back. This was the first day of a Hilarious. weekend engagement. And but, but when we came back, we were ready. We came back. Oh, you did some How many motherfuckers want to hear these jokes? No, no. We came back with everybody in the neighborhood, and, and, and they, they were heavily armed. And we wow. were just yeah. hoping it. That's deep. But know. that was the fourth time we had ever been on stage. But that's what the book is all about. The book is all about those wow. experiences. There yeah. isn't a comedy team in America that ever paid the dues that Tim Reed and Tom Dreesen had to pay. That everybody pays dues in our business, but no one paid the type of dues that we had mm -hmm. to pay. Being mm -hmm. America's first black and white comedy team, I and what's significant about that, like I said earlier, is there hasn't been one since. Yeah. And, Tom, the, and that's Tom, let me ask you: Were you treated better than Tim at that time? <laughs> <laughs> no, you, no, this is no. I'm, I'm going to give you a good question. And the, racism hasn't changed a bit. If there was a black guy who hated white people, hated them with a passion, yeah. when we appeared in the club, he wasn't mad at me. He was mad at Tim for being with me. If there wow. was a white redneck who hated black folks with a passion, he's not mad at Tim. He's mad at me for being with Tim. Man. So I caught it in the Johns and the bathrooms. I caught it in a lot of different ways, and Tim did too. Right. But that they, what you were just talking about earlier about divide, the nation <clears throat> was basically for us. I mean, it was incidents, you know, just slight incidents. Yeah. But as much as they tried to divide us, right. we bonded tighter. Just like when we're in a, you're in a service right. and you go through crisis, you and that guy with you, you bond. You know, right. and that's exactly what we did. What made you guys and, become a team? Uh, we started an uh, uh, anti-drug program. Don't anybody leave. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I had just graduated from Norfolk State uh, College, and uh, DuPont hired me. I was the first black hired by DuPont in the management training program. Wow. And uh, they shipped me to Chicago because mm -hmm. that was the only safe place. They couldn't send me anywhere else in the country at that time. So they sent me to Chicago, and uh, I joined the JC's Junior Chamber of Commerce, and he was in there, and uh, he pitched a, an idea of going to schools, elementary schools, talking about drug abuse uh, to the kids. And I had come from a, a background, you know, my my father was a uh, heroin addict mm. and all that kind of stuff. Mm. So I said, I know a little something about that. <laughs> Let's, <laughs> let me join you. Girl. And, and a kid said one day, you guys are funny. You ought to be a comedy team. Wow. And four months later, we walked on stage, and we've been in the business next year 40 years. Wow. And so did the act come from just t talking about the drug thing? Or you no, no. We, that was That's what gave us the, the thought to even try it. But gotcha. we didn't think about black and white. We just thought this is unique. Then we started. We didn't know shit about comedy. I mean, we were. Oh, I you was, guys weren't even comedians before. No, 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 no. no. Oh. I was a salesman. He was a salesman. 
and we walked wow. on stage. Me too. Well, I wanted to ask you a question. Because I mean, you were on time when <laughs> Lenny Bruce and George Carlin went out there. Yeah. How social was you guys act? Did you guys have a lot of social stuff, or did, was it just... Oh, yeah. What it was? I mean, but it was it was it was basically for us. Race was the vehicle. The joke was not the punchline. Was the irony of race? Like today, comics today, you guys have made race the punchline, and I think that's one of the problems. Uh, that there's no discourse in race. So everybody's laughing at race. Mm -hmm. Whether you're black or white doesn't matter. Back then, we used race as a vehicle. The irony was how 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 we respond, how people respond to race. So we did sketches about that. It was no straight man, funny man. We were both comfortable in our skin. We were both street kids. We come up, you know, rough, mm -hmm. poverty. So when we got into that venue, it was like, hey, we got to do this. So every time something happened, it would just give us that thing to move on. What was, not so there's a perfect audience, but what was like a perfect audience for you guys? When it, when it was mixed or was it all black? When did you get the best On any given section? night, we worked all black. We worked the Chitlin Circuit, you know, the Sugar Shack yes. in Boston, the High Chaparral, the Burning Spear. We also did the 20. first black expo. We followed Stevie Wonder yeah. at the first wow. black expo before 10,000 people. Whoa. Huh. But, what, the, what, but what the, 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 the makeup down. of any audience, <laughs> the makeup of any audience, it didn't depend because so, the, it, well, that night, you know, when you're hot that night, it doesn't matter who in the audience and we we had several of those nights we worked the playboy circuit where we were you know 12 playboy clubs uh, around the country we kept working that you know on any given Talk night about the snatch yeah <laughs> oh. by the way that's playboy. in the book that's in the let me get to the snatch yeah. 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 Let's let's see, see our Probably listeners like middle. to hear about the drugs and the ass <laughs> right. no condom error well all right yeah. then i'm gonna tell you now yeah. see, here we go Tom was about to drop uh, drop the science on what right. I mean. You're coming up in the seventies where 60s. all you needed was a little bit of uh, a penicillin to make it all go away. That's it. Talk about that. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you this. Tim Reed and I, he was married and had two kids, and I was married and had three kids. Now when oh. we went on the road, we made no money on the Playboy show. We made seven fifty a week. That was three seventy five split. So we had to get our own transportation, our own food, and we had to stay in the room together. Mm -hmm. So we made a rule. We made a thing. If one guy gets lucky, the other guy's got to take a hike, right? Wow. <laughs> wow. Now, I'm going to tell you a true story. Working the 20 grand in Detroit, you know, it's raining. It's cold. And Tim brings his chick of a lighter hue back to our room. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Whoa, whoa, and, whoa. Well, so, Tim, you, you were into the bunnies. Huh? Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Publicist. Hold on now. <laughs> was your, hey, hey, Tim, there's a thing where... I, I, I'm colorblind, by the way, guys. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what, Tim? You know what I call them? I call them my publicist. My publicist. Yeah, my publicist. Now, here's what happens. It's raining, and he says to me, so the rule was the other guy has to take a hike. So you, I took a walk, and I walked in the rain in Detroit, and it's raining, and I finally come back. We're going on stage in about two hours, and I knock on the door, and Tim goes, I say, Tom, give me a little bit more time. I said, all right. Damn. I take a walk again in the rain. Two black cops stop me. Hey, uh -oh. white boy, what you doing down here? I said, well, we're work I'm working over well, the 20 grand. Fuck, right? he, said, no, no. he said, I said, I'm a comedian. He said, no, you're not. I said, yes, I am. We're working at the 20 grand. He said, get in the car. They took me over to the 20 grand. BK, a little a gangster on that club, K-Bush. And uh, he said, hey, BK, this white boy said he works for you. He said, yeah, he's a comedian. He said, all right. They took me. I said, I'm sorry, white boy, but if a white boy's in this neighborhood, he's either selling something or buying something. Wow. So get you, and they took me back. I knock on the door. I said, Tim, he said, open the door. He said, Tom, can you give me a little more time? I said, God damn. So anyhow, <laughs> she, was, she was French. <laughs> So now, here's the, here's the big kicker. I come back finally. I said, Tim, you got to. Oh, man. I said, you got to listen. I got to get ready for the show. He said, all right, all right, all right, man. He lets me in, and I notice that he banged this chick in my bed. In my bed. You know, his bed's neat and clean. I, I didn't say anything. That night, we go do the show, and we're doing one of these. We're doing a back in between shows, and we're arguing about material, arguing about material. And, and Tim said something about it. And he said, oh, oh, whatever my argument was, he said, see, that's from a white point of view. Now, see what you understand? That's a white point of view. I said, wait a minute. You ain't calling me a racist. I walked around in Detroit in an all-black neighborhood in the rain, picked up by two black cops, while you were banging a white chick on my bed. <laughs> Whoa. And What's he, wrong with that? You know, <laughs> you know, Tim, Tim said, all right, I might have been a little bit hasty. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have been best friends for a while. Is that, is that the punch? Yeah, that's yeah, the punch. Okay, right. <laughs> Tim, how long have you been best friends? Tom got to work friend? a little bit on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm about I'm about what was some of the material you guys? 40 years. 40 years? And wow. you also worked with story. them. Richard Pryor on the Richard with Pryor Richard show. Richard Pryor with Robin Williams and a bunch of other stuff. And John Witherspoon was here a uh, couple Spooner. weeks ago. He told you, know, you, know what his, you know what his nickname is? What? His nickname? Johnny Smoke. <laughs> oh, why did they call him that? Johnny Smoke from Detroit. Yeah, well, he mean, was up here putting man. people on blast. So with, why did they call him Johnny Smoke? Uh, well, let's just say he used to he used to deal a few things. Let's just say. <laughs> wow. Come on, Tim. Johnny spill it. Smoke. He told on you. He told on you. Yeah, he talked about I know he talked about But Spoon's my man. We came out here about a week apart. What did he do? Uh, we would have hit the bed. Aaron, little, little smack. Smoke. No, a little smoke. <laughs> smack. Come on, give me the goods. Yeah, huh? Quaaludes? What was that? Back in your day. We didn't have Barbiturates? 
Nobody can afford that. What was the spoon for? So Bar Bitchum. Bar Bitchum is living back in the day. Quay Lou. So what awesome. was he yelling the smack? You guys speed. You guys performed the other at the, at the Laugh Factory. Did you guys perform actually? No, no. no. We just we, we went and sold the book, and then we got up and you know talked to the audience. Yeah. We didn't perform. What we was some of, what some of that early material? Yeah, okay. Well, well I taught him to be uh, to be black. Uh, he took me to his Italian family, and you know sketches like so you that. Guys did sketches. Well, sketches and some monologue, but the so monologue like, was always balanced. No. He does. I, I, I'm work behind the yeah, scenes. I, I produce. You are usually. Yeah. Tim, I read something in your book that just really amazed me about mm-hmm. God bless your mother that she beat up a nun. We whipped her butt. <laughs> what did the nun well, can do? Can you tell us about that story? I mean, that was amazing. Well, my mom was. Uh, let's say she was an emo- high pitched, emotional woman. But uh, I had, um, uh, I've been, you know, nuns were mean back in the day. I, I, they probably mellowed out now because they they're old. Get none. But back in the day, <laughs> nuns were, they'd whip your butt. And uh, we were caught in the wrong place. And we were young. I was, I think, in the third or fourth grade. And we were not where we were supposed to be. The old kids would go back and smoke. And we wanted to be with the old kids. And she'd block the area and let all the old kids out. And us young kids had to go through between her legs. And she pulled up her habit. And as we'd go through, she'd hit us with habit? a strap. <laughs> Yeah, that's what they call it. Called a habit. habit. A habit. Yeah, and they they, they they hit her with. She hit hit us with this leather strap. And when I came through, when I was there, I was the last one because I didn't want to get my ass whipped. So she she got angry. Like most people, when you have to catch the kid, you get a little angrier. Mm-hmm. So I wouldn't come until finally she's now angry. So when I came, she locked her uh, knees around my head and just really gave me a, a pretty good whipping. <laughs> you had to smell it. So when I got, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Smell like a priest. Yeah. <laughs> Smell like a bad habit. So, bad habit. So, what? I went home that night. My, mo- my mother was bathing. She saw those whelps and she said, What happened? I said, You know, I didn't want to say because I knew my mother would get a little excited. But anyway, I told her that, that morning. She didn't sleep all night. She, she dressed and sat in the chair waiting for the sun to come up. Wow. And she dragged my ass to school. I mean, literally moving. And when she got there, they had a little assembly outside. You know, all the kids had to get in line in front of their, the, nun, <laughs> the main nun uh, was there. My mother walked up to her, grabbed her by the back, and commenced to hitting her upside the head, wow. saying, "Don't you ever hit my kid again." And uh, they had to pull my mother off, uh, pull my mother off this nun. And then the, the pastor came. I mean, the, the head priest came down. She explained what happened. From that point on, that nun was my best friend. She wow. gave me bean shooters, slingshots. <laughs> uh, yeah. Your, mama, mama, yeah. gang, mama, mama was your mama is gangster. <laughs> gangster. I'm glad she understood what you said because. You went home and said, I had my head between the sister's legs. Yeah. <laughs> she had a habit. Oh, yeah. oh, she would have sent her father up there. Next time you tell that story, next time you tell that story, tell a little bit slower. I was getting aroused. There. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you ain't had none with no panties. You ain't had none in a while? <laughs> <laughs> That's a bad habit. Yeah. Talk about Sinatra. Open up for Sinatra. How was that? Did I toured with him. him hang out with yeah, him? I toured with him 14 years in 45, 50 cities a year, and stayed at his house a lot. I was a pallbearer at his funeral, and I uh, spoke at his funeral. Wow! He was a, 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 probably the most consummate pro. Although Sammy Davis was the greatest performer I ever seen on the wow. stage live. I toured, wow. I toured with him years, but but Sinatra, the show was the most important thing. You want to party? He'll party with all you. He'd drink you all under a table. He never went to bed till dawn his mm-hmm. whole life. When the sun came up, like Frank went to bed. Wow. That's it. You want to party, you want to, but when it was showtime, everybody better know their job because he knew his. And he, only, he would only surround himself with the best musicians, the best arrangers. He was a consummate pro and, uh, and, and, and a mysterious guy in a lot of ways. Uh, in some ways a dark guy, but, but he was... Well, <laughs> did he know those guys? Hell Alpha. yeah. 8772 is the number to call in. Ask Tim and Tom a question. Call in, 8772-106-106. Jamie, there's a lot of stories in that book about Sinatra that people have never heard before about Sammy. Also about Sammy. Cool. Sammy, we don't give Sammy enough credit. Bro. Yeah. Sammy was the best entertainer the world has ever seen. I know that. Al, because you, you know, man, sometimes uh, <laughs> <laughs> it take a sunrise. <laughs> Uh, the candy man can. <laughs> what kind of candy was that? <laughs> and you know, he would. No one would have enjoyed that more than Sammy. He would have enjoyed that. He had a great sense of humor about people who did impressions of him. He just, yeah. it was a great, Sammy great. Was something so when you was on tour with Frank Sinatra, you went by yourself. 
Oh, y'all didn't go. Did no, no, no. I was I was working at a topless play, uh, place in uh, Washington. You were serious? Well, not at that time. I, when I was with when I was with Sammy, you were. But when I was with Frank, you were doing. KRP. Oh, Frank, I was doing yeah, KRP. Yeah. But when I, he was with Sammy, I was working topless place. I saw this documentary on Sammy Davis Jr. and he said his handicap was being ugly. I thought that was kind of. Yeah, he never thought. He always thought of himself as not a good-looking guy, and people did jokes on him and did jokes about him oh. being ugly. Well, I you know, he had a glass eye, as you know. Yeah. 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 Jilly Rizzo, Frank Sinatra's bodyguard, had a glass <laughs> eye. So. So one year for Christmas, Sinatra bought a set of binoculars. He sawed them in half and sent one to Jillian, one to Sam. <laughs> you know what? You know what's missing right now. And you know I. what is missing? <laughs> it's just what you talked about right there. We don't have that with with, with young comedians. No. I mean, like we do in this room, like we check yeah. it away. But like as a as a whole, like right now, a comedian and then it's his crew or it's his publicist and it's just them and right. they don't we don't yeah. interact we don't right. do practical you jokes you guys don't we do, travel we don't do any of that yeah, I mean we, we do yeah we do I mean in this room like like Johnny Mag Lou Diggs Speedy and Chris Spencer we get out and we go on the road together like we just went on the road here this past time and I didn't have time to get my act together mm -hmm. so we wrote down all we wrote down right. all of the jokes mm -hmm. on, on two Notepads, mm -hmm. and somebody stood behind me, right, yeah. just behind the curtain, and said, "Okay, go to the old <laughs> All I know, <laughs> like, go to the prince. <laughs> Johnny Mac was doing it, and then you had left, and then I. And I, then I at one point, and one, this is a funny story. Jokes. At one point, Speedy is supposed to be feeding me my jokes, gets know. caught up in the jokes, and forgets where. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing, so I'm going stuff. like, "What's the next? What's the next? Instead of feeding you, he's and feeding then Johnny Mac. And Johnny Mac." <laughs> Johnny Mac, I don't know if Johnny Mac started getting into it, but it, it, the more we started going out, the closer Johnny Mac got to the stage. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he was out on stage. Like, All right, now go to the OJ. <laughs> I'm sharing the uh, mic with you. He's sharing the mic with you. You forgot But, it, but that's missing. I mean, I mean, what it, what, I mean. I just don't understand, like, why we don't, why we don't have. First of all, you travel only with comedians, right. and what we had to do when we started, there were no comedy clubs in America, wow. so we worked with singers. Right. We worked with singers. That, we worked you know, with everyone. Muddy Waters, Earl Garner. Yeah. So we we Count interchanged Basin. there. Damn. By the we way, Sammy, when we finished our show in Vegas, Sammy would say, "Come on, let's go, Tommy." We'd go down the strip and we we jump on the stage with the trainers. Every we'd go to the lounges. We'd say after dawn. But we, they'd say, "Hey, look who's in the audience, Tom Beeson, Tom, come on, do do five minutes for us." And you'd get up, or, "Hey, Sammy, how about singing a song?" We would all wow. interact that yeah. way. See, we don't have that, man. Yeah. I, I wish we could get back to that. It's like uh, I, I just think that it's needed. Like, cause I see the guys out. I see the Cat Williams and the Chris Tuckers and the Chris Rock. If you haven't seen Chris Rock special, please check it out. It was just brilliant. yeah, I he loved it. He went Nothing. to South Africa, went to England and New York, and, and he went. Like, Way far. Yeah, man. <laughs> like, what do you mean, way far? Like, I, I, think, it, I think one of the things that I am an old school brother here. Now. Yeah. I'm 60 some years old, so I can say this. You're 60? I'm, I'll be Damn. 64 in another month. Man, you look great. I'm telling you. I, I thought you were about 62, 63. Nah, yeah. Nah, <laughs> but if I'd have known you that old, I'd never hung out with you. <laughs> but here, here's the problem I have. And I, I right. saw that special. I, thought, I think he's a genius, but I think he went too far. Now, mm -hmm. when I say too far, this is why. You know, back in the day, we were the morality thing was too strict. Right. And people like Lenny Blues and Richard, Richard Pryor moved that line. Right. Car Carla moved that line. We moved that line racial. But we moved the line. Young comics today, you have erased the line. Mm -hmm. You've right. got to have a line. Mm -hmm. And I think. So, that, so what do you mean? Yeah, like, what, like yeah. what do you mean? Well, I'm saying that there has to be morality in comedy for it to work thoroughly. And there is, when, when, you, when you erase the line, when you erase the line in terms of vulgarity, when you erase the line, I'm not saying I don't believe in censorship. I don't even think we should censor the word nigger. I don't think we should censor anything. I like anything. how you said that. Yeah, I like I that. I he said it, but he censor. didn't say it. Yeah, I don't think we should censor the word nigger. <laughs> <laughs> you just don't think we should say it in loud. <laughs> yeah. I don't think we should censor the word Now, hey, Tim, I, don't, I, I agree with you, but if I said that word right now, what would you say? What'd you say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm I'm just, saying, I don't think pain. we should censor anything, because uh -huh. you can't be a creative artist and then have how censorship. Do you not, then how do you not censor, and how can you tell another comic? It goes back comic? to morality. How do you tell another comic, though? How do you tell another comic, though? What not to put in, in I would in never tell a comic not what right. what to put. I'm right. saying that a comic has to have within his own self a line. So you're more so of where, a, a where Cosby think, type. Where do you think No 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 I'm not that clean. Where do you <laughs> think where do you think he Sinbad. crossed the line? Where do you think yeah, he Sinbad crossed the line? That's a good point. Don't I think you. he crossed the line in terms of the the, the sexual the, material? Not no no sex. He crossed the line in terms of how the vulgarity was used 
and general description of the joke. I mean, we're talking jokes here, guys. They right. gotta have yeah, punchline. Yeah, right. I'm saying that when you're talking about a woman in oral sex and you're talking about, I have no problems if that's a punchline. That's where you're going. No problem. But with you. but what? what Tim, you're sound, Tim, you're sounding very surgical. You're sounding very like. Yeah, I have no problem. I mean, well, if I, you want to call the pussy, fine, call it. But it's really a vagina. <laughs> and fellatio. Well, this new freedom you guys have is new to us old guys, right. you know. But I'm saying that that we have a, we have erased the line. We have a. We, you have to have a line. Is it? You know? is it but, we but, talk about. Black, but but we talk about black women. We've gone too far. We we have we have literally nullified the line about how far you can go with black. But women. by back in the day, you talk about uh, my mama or a black woman like that. Yeah. You're gonna you're gonna have to die. But I believe what happens now. Y'all didn't play the dozens. Hold on, wait. No, oh yeah, on. we played the dozens. I played the but, eleven but, and a half. But we did not. There was a line. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I, yeah, I banged your eleven listen, sisters listen. and your half-ass mama. I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and Dick Van Dyke off his hairband. <laughs> now you talk about context. That joke would have worked on TV, but folks in the car are going, "What the hell is he talking about?" They know, they, but, they, know, they, know, they, know the classic white boy hair. They know. Hold on, I think okay. what he's talking about is if you go. Cuss word, curse word, curse word, curse, curse word. No, That's what I'm talking about. no. Yeah. I, I think what it is 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 like, I think he comes from another era. I do. What it is is that at that time, if if I'm correct though, and this is what I'll say, I think at that time when you guys were coming up, to be controversial was controversial. Yes. Now what we're watching is is blase, blase. It's it's expected. It's it's not. It's like as a young cat. I don't watch Chris Rock and even notice what you're talking about. Right. You know, you know what yeah. I mean? But that's, so, that's what propaganda does. Uh, but propaganda I, eliminates, eliminates the line. At some point, there will become a line. How far is that line? It, do we do but, snuff but, films? Well, I mean, how far do we go? <laughs> no, no, no. no but, <laughs> I mean, comedy? But, but how yeah. far do we go? But, but As com- the world but, has but evolved, Rock, so yeah, much comedy. Yeah, comedy. Because we're not, no disrespect, but it's, it's like the world has evolved. Things have changed since the 60s, 70s, or whatever. Yeah. So, so, so the, has comedy. you got to let us also. So comedy is being able to say fuck a hundred times. Yeah. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. But, no, no, he, but you guys he, need a writer. No, no. He, <laughs> no <laughs> fuck uh, that. But, <laughs> Fuck what you say. Oh, well <laughs> said, intellectual. No, 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 but this, 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 this is what we're saying, though. Yeah, wait, like, tell me what you rock, say. Rock is one of our genius of comedies. Who? Chris Rock? Chris, Chris Rock. No yeah. question. Yeah. I'm not arguing that. But, but, but the cussing and things like that, I don't trip on that. It's yeah. like, we're not, like, like I had, a, like I had a, a, a fundamental, we had a fundamental argument about the word nigga. Mm-hmm. And, and when I would use the word nigga, uh, it was used as a term of endearment, right. a word that we use. We d- it didn't have the same thing as my father. You, you talked to a guy who was or, called a nigga, so hey, I'm exactly. very familiar with the word. But, but yeah. I was ca- I was called a, I was called a nigga every day in Texas. Yes. So, right. I mean, mm-hmm. nigga. Yeah, 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 not nigga. Uh-huh. Right. And that's what we went on went on say. So so we talk about the differences the difference of the time and the era. It's like I can't like in music. So you're saying I there's no need for a line. I can't put it. I can't look at a young. I'll take it in music. I can't look at a young kid that's doing music right now and enjoy his music mm-hmm. because it's not from my era. I'm 40 now. He's 21. It's his thing. Right. So it's his time. So it's Chris. It's Chris Rock's time. You, right. you know what I'm saying? It's not saying that what you what you're saying is invalid, but it's like it's like hearing as a young comedian. It's like hearing uh, your parents say, "Boy, when we was telling jokes, I had to walk right yeah. through the snow." You, you understand what I'm saying? So it's like, so I don't there's think no we, need for morality. I don't think that we could ever get I, back to that, and I don't think it's a moral thing. Yeah, I think I think that's an issue that you're dealing with. No, yeah, morality is morality. We, whether, no, no, because in comedy there is no no you're, morals. I don't look at okay. I don't listen. I don't making. listen. I don't listen to. To, to to Eddie Murphy or to, to, to the Bill even, Cosby. Even Dice. Don't bring or Richard Dice. Pryor in. He was being he, that was a different time. That's what he's talking about. Richard Pryor was being edgy. Richard Pryor was going and moving the Richard line. Richard Pryor was nasty. Yeah. Hold it, hold he it. talked about I mean, farting and shitting, right, right. but he fucking, was moving. There was a and line. Fucking, and fucking. It was okay, a line. But, it, but you're listening to it from a line. Yeah. As me listening to it from a listener, mm-hmm. it was something that I couldn't listen to. I had to go to the basement and listen to it. Because there you, being, what do you just said? Because he had to go to the basement yeah, but, and listen but, to but it. But because he was being dirty. But there was a line. You but knew now, that the line but was now being the ba- but, but now there is no basement. What I'm saying I'm, is there's no line. That, so when you say more, but it's not a, I don't think it's a moral thing. Right. I just think that's what it is now. When I listen to when I listen to young comics now, I say, damn. When they, when I watch Cat Williams, mm-hmm. Cat Williams ain't 
uh, is not doing what Chris Rock does, but what he does, he's doing it for his time and mm-hmm. for the people to get get him. So the people that are watching Chris, I thought when he when South Africa and the way they responded, I thought it was great. I, I don't think was- people, I don't think people go out to watch comedy and say I'm going to be moral tonight. When you go out to watch comedy, unless unless it's Cosby and Sinbad. No, no, no. <laughs> All right, who are great? Here's my I've example. I think Dave thing. Chappelle is the most courageous comic that's worked. And at since Richard Brown. But he's no Chris Rock. I, Chris uh, Rock? How, uh, no, Chris I think Rock. he's funnier. But no, let me tell you what. Uh, no, no. Let me finish my point. Wait, time, let me, let me tell you why I say no, this. Let me finish my point. That's a good point. No, hold on a second. As a creator of comedy. You mean to tell me that Chris Rock stand up HBO when he said. Uh, one thing about niggas, niggas hate niggas too. What, right. was, what was the what was that? Yeah, black was that? people hate niggas. Black yeah. What, but what was the name of that that uh, big that and blacker? Bigger big and blacker. Yeah. I thought it was funny. No, 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 no. Wait, Very funny. No, no. Here's the problem. But let me say this. Let me say Dave Chappelle. I think Dave Chappelle. Is I said no. Dave Chappelle I don't. I don't. Is, is the is the heir to Richard Pryor's uh, uh, thing, and this is why I say that. I when that ma- he's the only one of us in this room. Who, when his soul was on they the line, walked away he walked away million. for fifty million. I walked away. I kn- I, you ain't walking no fifty million. I walked away for five. Negro, shut up. You, you got fifty thousand now. Yeah. <laughs> but also, but also the that's other. That's not the reason why he but, walked away. That's though. not the reason why no, no, I walked away. He would not sell his soul. No, no that's not why he walked away. That's not why he walked away. That's what he told me. Listen, listen. I know. No, no. He told me. That's not why he walked away. I know the real shit. I don't even say the shit. Let me ask you. I know why he walked away. He did not walk away because of the money, at all. By the way, I agree. He did not walk away because of any of that. It was a personal reason. Yeah. He did not walk away because of the money. Jamie, I agree with you. At all. I agree with yeah. you. And if the white boy can say something here, just for a second. <laughs> you better be careful. Better be funny. <laughs> no. the, the, a couple of things you brought up here. Number one, there's only one rule in show business, one rule in comedy. There's only one. That's be funny. Be, be be funny. funny. That's it. Funny. That's the only rule. doesn't matter how you're funny. The other thing is, Tim, Tim is right. It, the, somebody once said to me on a TV show, who's the funniest person? Or, or, you know, are you funny? I said, if the lady in the second row is laughing, I'm funny. They said, well, she's not. I said, then I'm not funny. They said, well, the guy next to her is laughing. I said, well, then I'm funny. Right. But the lady, <laughs> then I'm, you're, you know, it's, it's, it's comedy is subjective. Yep. Whatever makes you laugh yeah. is what's funny. The, what Tim was pointing out here earlier, we started out in a business. We're in show business. That's two words, show and business. Right. Right. Now, when, if Chris Rock came up in my time, he'd still be out there in the clubs or, or, or any of the other comics. Why? Because in those days, wherever you went in America, people say, what do you do for a living? You say, oh, I'm a stand-up comedian. Oh, yeah? You ever been on Johnny Carson? If you hadn't been on Johnny Carson in the eyes of America, you were not a comedian. Right. You couldn't make any money. So how did we get to Carson? We watched the Carson show, and we watched what material worked. Did you had to do know? material that made grandma, grandpa, mom, and dad, and the kids laugh. Right. That's very, very difficult. I'm a street guy. I don't have a degree from academia, but I got a doctorate from the streets. I know every dirty joke, and I can tell them. I can work as blue as any comic in the world, but I couldn't make any money that way. Right. So in my day, I had to get, I had to make everybody laugh. So it was, you had to be creative. I could say, the problem with the word fuck, it's an adjective and it's an adverb, it's a noun, it's a pronoun. Anytime you can't th- think of anything creative, we go to fuck. You know? So I think I challenge, but, challenge but, yourself. But, yeah. but, but what but I'm I saying is, but I think what, your all what you guys up. are talking about, is back in your day. Your day ain't here now. It's gone. Your day is your gone. Your day is great. All right. Your I, day, I but, accept that, that, but the day, but no. your day is gone. And so now, my day and your world but, is gone. But, but his, but my his world's day, doing pretty good. I, 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 I understand that, but but, so but, but you understand? What I'm saying we're talking about stand up. Mm-hmm. Jamie, the Jamie, reason, can the I make reason, the reason that Chris Rock is to me be, uh, not. I wouldn't say better than Dave Chappelle, but when I look at Chris Rock as far as stand up, right. yeah, me too. Nobody touched me too. I love him. And, 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 like, and, re- and the reason that he's great in stand up is because of Richard Pryor and because Eddie Murphy took fuck and did something with it. Right. You, you understand what I'm saying? So when he's saying it now, it's like maybe on this special, maybe he wasn't as funny as the rest of his other specials. Creative. Right. No, but those not. other specials, mm. the special. I, 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 they, I wanted to ask uh, 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 Tom. 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 Well, you said that if you wasn't on Johnny Carson back in the day, you wasn't a stand-up. And that's true. I didn't, I didn't finish. According to who? The because as you world. know, back in the day, when a whole lot of black folks oh, I understand on it. Johnny Carson. Let me give you, let me give you the, what I'm talking about in the business right. aspect. I, I was talking about show He's business. You're Hollywood. Yeah, I'm going to tell you about show business. That but today, that don't take away from you being a comic. It's just comedy. No, Johnny Mac. I'm Johnny talking Mac. about the people who hired said? us. I said, the ad- couldn't make no money. Shut the fuck up. The advertisers. Nigga. <laughs> Let me get mine in now. But no, you're, by the word has been censored. I got a point. Line. <laughs> I got a point. I love nigga. By the way, I, you're right in this respect. I love those comics, and I watched them in Chicago. I watched Red Fox when I was, like, you know, in the South Side of Chicago. Oh my God, Red Fox! I went, I went to see Falstaff. I went to see all them comics from the South Side of Chicago, and they were great comedians. 
I'm talking about from the business. I said two words, show and business. Right, right, right. Now, business, today, corporate America hires me all of America. You know why? Because I can work clean for an hour if I have to. And I can work blue, too. But I can work clean if I have to. Context. So, yes, yeah, I think every comic can go clean. No, no, no. no, 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 no. I believe, I believe no, no, not no, no, every no. comic. You take fuck out of it, you lose about 100,000 comics. Yeah. Yeah. I know, but what? Yeah. But the way he's you right, guys... Right. But hold on, Johnny, right. man. Hold on. Right. Let, let, time finish. let time Hold on. Let me finish. Here's the thing. What you, but what you sound like, though, is you sound like Cosby, and you sound like... And ain't nothing wrong with Cosby. But we all ain't Cosby. Can I finish what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't say shit. Cosby, to me... Because he was clean, and he tried to be blue, and he stunk at it. When? That, that I didn't know. Yeah, he, did. gotta, he, tried, he, tried, he tried to be blue, and he stunk at it. When Richard Pryor was doing his thing, he knows. Yeah, no, he tried. No, he, I, am I, I right? I, he, tried he, he tried it, right? I'd like he to tried know it. When, uh, but he, ask the black man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, shit, you got to know everything. <laughs> that, that's what I'm saying. If the he white tried. man don't know, who knows? <laughs> 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 yeah, like, that's don't know. funny. <laughs> And he didn't say fuck at all. <laughs> but, 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 but listen what I'm saying. We, we as young comics, we as young comics have been preached to by Bill Cosby himself, mm -hmm. the old great Cosby thing to where you, if, you, if you're not clean or whatever, like for some reason you're not creative. And that's, that's not true. So it sounds like that, that sort of that you're coming from that bitter place of if it's not... It, if he says too many curse words, all of a sudden that negates everything he says. No, here's, here's so, the difference in what I'm saying. Yeah, I, I, I hear what you say. I'm not saying. I, I'm not, I don't yeah. think we need to go back to that kind of morality. I'm right. not saying you. I'm saying that the line. I'm not saying where the line is. Right. I'm saying that in in in, in the humankind, there's got to be a line. If we all, if there's no line in human, and whether it be comedy or how you live your life, there has to be morality. If there's no morality, we might as well go back to sticks and stones, and start clubbing each other. There's got to be a morality in our in our culture. That has to be. You cannot eliminate morality in culture and have a culture that functions. So what do you think is going to happen if it continues to go the way it's going, Tim? Well, there won't Comment. be a culture. Okay. I, 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 I don't get it. I want to chime in a little bit because I'm in that I'm right in that middle that they talk yeah. about because I made a conscious choice. No, you didn't. No, seriously, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, minute, seriously. <laughs> I made a conscious choice when I first started comedy. I, I was dirty. And then you looked at all the group people like Martin, Jamie, and all of them were killing. And I made a conscious decision that I can't compete with them. I'm going to get in that short line, which is Cosby, Sinbad, and then me. And then I can work my way up to make and show you see business. what happened. Right. <laughs> they closed the door after Sinbad. No, no, no. You no, 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 got that no. shirt as a consolation prize. And I'm not saying, no, no, hold up. I'm not saying that's anything wrong with that, but what I'm saying he's absolutely right. Lenny Bruce tried to be clean. He said he would have to do it his way, and he went dirty. George Carlin tried to be clean. He would start doing it his way. And Dr. Cosby was started and dirty and then went clean. I'm saying is there so, room for all of them. So they all right? have choices that, to what their yeah. talent takes I them. don't think Tim is talking about the word dirty. No, he's just talking about I'm saying that there's got to be. A morality line in life, and I'm guys. saying that there doesn't have to be when it comes to because I'm saying who's drawing that line? Who is the person yeah, saying I, I this say, is the line? I say, and I'm saying what comes, line is the food? I'm saying <laughs> hey, I'm saying it gentlemen. comes from the individual. The individual has to have a line. Now that line for, for Red Fox is a lot different than the line for me or Bill Cosby. Right, right. So what do you and, think of Red Fox? But it can't be a hundred thousand Red Fox. But what do, what do you think of Red Fox? He, I laugh my ass off in the basement. You see what I'm saying? I knew what Red Fox, Red Fox was. Red Fox was one of the most incredible comedians yeah. I said, I that ever come through. No, he was in the basement like ever. We were was only one. He said he was in the basement like how we were in the basement yeah, prior. prior. Yeah. It, we knew the line. We knew what we were violating. We knew that that's what it's for. But what I'm saying today is that there are 100,000 Red Foxes. Fox, yeah. Everybody's doing it. Everybody's we don't it. need 100,000 Red Listen, Foxes. Listen, but, let let me, let but me HBO gave... gave us as comedians, the opportunity to you do everything the white man tell you do. To do, to do. <laughs> oh, come, come on now, you don't want me, we, we don't want to start talking about you and white folks. <laughs> Those are white ladies. <laughs> no, I'm talking. About, I'm talking about as far as business is concerned. Oh, oh, I, uh, I'll okay. talk about that. Oh, okay. Let me let me defend, we, the, the defend my partner just for a second. I want to defend my partner. Got the white folks. Who got the black folks? <laughs> I want to defend my partner just for a minute in this respect. The I want to know what happened. We no. live in a, <laughs> Fuck that. Yeah, I do too. No, no. Fuck that. Wait, we live, this Frank's place you talking about? Gentlemen, we, li we live in a... We live in a we live in Cincinnati. <laughs> and if I knew we're in the ear ring, all hey, you guys are going to wear two. in Cincinnati. <laughs> Let me defend, defend my partner just for a second. Please. That we learn more today. Our young people learn more today from you comedians, from us comedians, than any other profession. They, yeah. They're getting their politics from comedians. They're, getting, they're learning more. They're not learning from philosophers and college professors. They're learning from us because they admire our stand-up and what we're doing. So... If we break down that morality so much to them that a 16-year-old girl 
sitting in an audience to keep hearing about blowjobs and all this. Where would you let your daughter sit there and listen to that? Because that's if the way I would feel. My daughter's twenty-one or twenty-one. Uh, I'm not talking uh, about twenty-one. That's a yeah. yeah. I'm not if talking about twenty-one. If she's sixteen, she shouldn't be in the fucking well, club. Well, well, she can watch you on TV. She can watch you on home. But, but, but if she's on TV, I'm, I'm gonna be clean. My okay. daughter, my daughter's never watched any of my films. Th They're she, all rated R. She, uh, has, she hasn't seen any of them. Uh, well, but, Speedy daughters don't even know him. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, let's thank our guests for coming here. And, uh, I fucking thank you. Thank you for the discourse. Tell them about the book. They tell you, thank, thank you for the tell us about the motherfucking book. Tell yeah, them about Tim. the book. Tim and Tom. It says, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> all on the back. Wait a minute, wait a minute. An American comedy in black and white, we don't want to forget what legends. you've done right. and the legends of what you've God given bless you all. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to say one thing before I go. Kiss my black ass. <laughs> <laughs> it must be your <laughs> it must it's Jimmy Fox, Fox on Radio. What's cracking? Oh, it's, crack crack it's going down. We've had a spirited conversation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've had a spirited conversation. Poetess is telling me that we need to break. Yes. Uh, Philly That's is whooping right. the shit out save of Save the LA score, right Fox. Save the score. The off, Jamie, save up. the score. What's the, the score? The score is Philly. eight to two. Thank you, Philly. Winners against Philly. the losers. Turn it off. Fuck wow. that show. We want to thank Tim Reed. We want to thank Tom. Hey, Tom beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful, man. Love we will, thank we you, will, man. Love we will thank, thank you for those for You only brought three books. Talk. I would have read it. But you only brought one. I guess we... <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> we got we the share. We got the... It, it ain't no is Tim and Tom, is there a website they can go to for more? Tim and Tom Comedy. Tim and Tom Why Comedy. Why is Tim's name first? No, I'm joking. <laughs> Duh! You going to get somebody to read that book for uh, Johnny Mack on the break. <laughs> He's going to look at the pictures. Can't wear them bowling silk shirts yeah, no more. It was a, it was a heated yeah. conversation. Deodorant, nigga. Yeah, yeah. I thought dog? you had Bud Light under you. Wow. <laughs> what is crack? I got a uh, humidifier armpits in this motherfucker. <laughs> Just want to say a big shout out to Bud Light. Um, welcome, everybody. Raise your bottles and welcome Bud Light as a sponsor to the show. We like to have fun here on the show, and that means Bud Light. It's the number one beer in America and the number one beer here at the Foxhole. Bud Light is refreshing and great tasting with the smooth drinkability that we all like. So if you want to party, you need Bud Light. Bud Light keeps it coming and is the beer of choice for all Foxhole parties. Make it the brand you enjoy whenever you want to have a good time. Bud Light. But just have morality <coughs> when you do that. Yeah. <laughs> Go cross the moral line when you But do I that. understood what he was saying, man. I did a show. Hold on, Speedy. We got more? Read. No, I was just going to say, ahead, we ahead, have Speedy. guests on the phone that have been um, waiting for So that means I can't get my minutes. point out. Get your point out, Speedy. Get, get your point out, Speedy. Yeah. Yeah. No, I did okay. a show, and somebody in the audience, we had a young comedian that went up, and every other word he said was motherfucker, and then the, then the word. So the guy in the audience says, Guys, he gonna, how many times is he going to say motherfucker? And and that was his whole act. He couldn't get the joke out unless he did motherfucker this. How many motherfuckers? And can, then this can, motherfucker can I, did can I, say, can I say something? And I didn't say anything is wrong with no, it. But, but can, I, can I say this? Please do. Not every person that does comedy is going to be good. Thank you. Oh, Not every true, person right? that does clean comedy is going to be good. Right. Not true, every right. person that does bad comedy or, or fucked up comedy is going to be good. Right. There's not going to be a lot of... When's the last time you've seen a Richard Pryor? Thank when's you. When's the last time you've seen a Bill Cosby? A Red sure. Five, yeah. I, can I just be honest? No. They not that yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So at all. So so what it comes from is this: is that <laughs> when, you, when you when you're not. Why'd you whisper it fast? <laughs> when, when you, why are you doing your voice? <laughs> okay, come on. Let's let's go to the let's go to the call. Let's okay. Go to the call. okay. Well, on the on the phone with us, we have some Olympians, <laughs> Lashawn Merritt. He's a double Olympic gold medalist. And also we have Sean Crawford on the phone, who's also an, a silver I've medalist. Seen funny your jokes on. <laughs> and then the also we have Angelo pack. Taylor, <laughs> who's also a double gold medalist. Welcome to the Foxhole, gentlemen. Hey, Hello. what's up? Hey, hey, hey. Sylvan, go. You guys there? Yeah, what's going on? Y'all right? Hey, let me ask you this: What was that? Ex what was that experience like? Winning the gold and the silver? Well, for me, I wanted it, you know. And I Identify was, yourself. This is Rashad. Okay. Won the 400 and got a, another goal in the 4 by 4 You know, I went over there, I wanted it, and, and I went and got it. That's you yeah. sure did go and get it, man. We was watching you play it, man. And how does that make you feel as an American? 
Uh, actually, we swept it. We got one, two, three in it, and, and to be the American that crossed the line first, you know, it felt it, it was special. It was my first Olympic Games. Uh, I wanted to represent myself, my city, and my country. Wow, that's great. Now, now, let me ask you this: What high school did you go to, and, and were they proud of you? Did, did they do something special for you? Oh, definitely. My whole my whole city was behind me. You know, from Portsmouth, Virginia. I went to Woodrow Wilson, and uh, I went back. They had a parade for me and everything, man. It, it was it was definitely special. Oh, so you got a parade? Yeah. <laughs> Any money. Now, LaShawn and Angelo, you guys um, competed in the same event, and you guys are um, not only good friends, but you're managed by the same company. How how was that for you guys? Oh, it's a great experience. I mean, um, oh, by the way, this is Angelo. Um, but it's a, uh, it's a great experience to be with Kimberly Holland, who I think she's on the line with us. Uh, she's the best agent in the business. And, uh, you know, we... Our management group is the the top the top management group on the circuit right now. So you know we just go out there and clean up and win all the medals and take all the money. Where, <laughs> a, Where are the medals right now? <laughs> My medals right now. Y'all be going to the club with the medals on? Yeah, give us the real <laughs> shit. What happened in China? Already. Give me the dirt. <laughs> Groupies. Already. The air. Go to the club with the medals swinging around your neck. You know that's the yes. real piece in China right now. Now, were you able to get any endorsements from that? Hell. You said hell no? Groupies. <laughs> what What happens after the Olympics for you guys and the medals and all that? What happens next? World Championships next year. You know, uh, next year's a new year. This is LaShawn again. Mm-hmm. World Championships is next year. Um, same thing as, as Olympic Games, same concept, but it's just track and field. You know, this year it was like the best in the world in every sport, you know. But uh, we, we compete every year, and next year is also a big year. Will anybody be able to take down Hussein Bolt? Yeah, we're going to shoot his ass. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Kill that motherfucker. That's what we're going to do. You're going to do what? <laughs> we're going to kill that motherfucker. <laughs> All right. Don't give your name. Shit. <laughs> uh, don't worry. I'm not. That's Barry Bonds training. <laughs> do you think uh, – now was now was uh, Hussein Bolt was he on nat- was he natural or was he drinking a little bit of the Kool Aid? A little bit of Kool Aid. He eating, uh, he actually said in his interviews he was eating uh, yams. yams from Jamaica. I tell him I eat yams every day in Portsmouth. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, they yams ain't a bad food. They yams ain't no sweet potatoes. Uh. So are you saying there was some foul play going on? No, I ain't saying no foul play. I'm just saying they got some they got some native yams over there. That shit might not be orange. Wow. <laughs> they, 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 hey, they, no, I'm dead serious though. I'm funny, but I'm dead serious. They are their yams ain't the same as ours. But you know, that's what we got the drug testing procedures for, you know. They come you know, we all get tested, he got tested, ain't nothing come up, so we all have to assume that he's clean. How often do you get tested? And it was like yeah. you got damn much. <laughs> hey, hey, LaShawn, uh, this is uh, Louis Dix. Uh, Walter Dix is my third cousin. And I wanted to ask you guys a question. Do you think you got, you know, when Marion Jones got busted, they took the other medals, do you guys think the other people should have been able to keep their medals? Hell no. I'm sorry? Why not? All right. Because uh, if you're a team, if, you, if you're working together as a team, and, um, okay, let's say we got a relay, and four people, there's four people on the relay, one person dirty. And um, we won by a hundredth of a second. This dirty motherfucker helped us win. No, we it's a team thing. We all go in there as one. So if one person gets their medal taken, everybody should get their medal taken because that team was dirty. Well, well, did you, do you think right. the other three knew that Marion was dirty? No, actually, I trained with Marion. I trained what? with Marion in, uh, in 05. You know, and, and she did a workout. She did everything she's supposed to do and everything. But my dad didn't know. But when I was training with her, she seemed like, it was cool. Everything was cool. But it you came out that she wasn't eating like uh, horses, oats, and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't well, great. Well, we just want to thank you. We, the, the gold medalist. Yes. And LaShawn Merrick. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm actually in Chicago right now. Oh. There's a marathon going on on Sunday, and I'm there showing love to them, letting them know that uh, they can do it. I went there and let them know they can do it. Yeah, well, we've got a special place in our heart for Shot Town right now because Barack Obama's from there, so go yeah. for Rock. Thank you, Angelo Taylor. Thank you, LaShawn Merritt.
calling right. in, man. Appreciate it, man. Thank Good you, y'all, for representing Good America. Luck at the it's Jamie Fox, Fox on Radio, Sirius 106. What's cracking? Oh, oh no, cracking your ass. ass. Now, Tim Reed, no, he did <laughs> goddamn well. No. <laughs> Yeah, that nigga, that was weird. Is something you want to say? No, 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 yeah. no. No, what it is is that is that a lot of times you, you, what you get is, and the reason I had to stick up for Rock is because Rock is out there trying. Rock did something fabulous. He went to Incredible. London, to South Africa. That's right. And he went to New York. Right. And now to have somebody say he wasn't morally right. What, we, what, we're not looking nobody for morals. Really, I'm looking nobody, for funny. I, I'm just saying nobody really gives a shit about that. Right. And, and Chuck is looking at me. We know Tim, and we know what, what happens is is that a lot of times, people's careers or whatever may not go in a certain direction, right? And so, a little bitterness sets right. in. That little, that little bitter yeah. pill that said back it. in my it, day, it, 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 it's equivalent to this: when, when, when you go out and and, and somebody buys a, a S five hundred or S six hundred huh. and drives up, and then somebody says. Well, if that's the color you liked, <laughs> <laughs> that's right. how you like your seats to lean back. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't even know what he was talking about. I asked him where, where did he cross the line. I didn't. Well, he was saying basically he was saying that he thought he cussed too much in, the, in this, and he didn't have. But, 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 but you got to. That's what he was saying. But you, but you got to understand. But saying. you got to understand this. That's what it is. Yeah, it's right. like listening to hip hop. It's like listening to hip hop and saying, "Oh, exactly." God, I think talking about wheat. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, your example was perfect. You being forty, listening to these twenty-year-old dudes going, "I don't get it. This ain't yeah. for me." And that's exactly what's going on with him. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I think I don't think we could argue with him. That's just his opinion yeah. and and yeah. how he feels. Well, no, right. I, I and, like and, to argue with him. And, and some people think that you don't have to cuss to do comedy. I don't think but he was comedy, about those com- people. comedy is what the white dude said. It's it's whatever makes somebody laugh. If a dude get on stage and shit and everybody fall out laughing. There but the, there but the fun have you? But the way Richard Pryor cussed was hilarious. Yeah, that's what I'm the saying. Way yeah. Eddie Murphy cussed. Right. Samuel Jackson got a whole career and said, "Motherfucker, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I did it and I'll do it again." Yeah, yeah. And he threw out moral that threw everybody because we were like, "Well, your wife morally but, took somebody's job." Ooh, <laughs> that was cold. <laughs> what happened, Louis? The fuck, Louis? Well, when the Fresh Prince, when his wife, she took didn't take it, she got cast. Uh, what, what, what happened to her morally? She didn't say, "You know what, y'all fired her wrong morally. I don't want to do that." No, I don't know what you're talking about. What happened? I don't know either. Remember there was a there was a dark skinned friend named <laughs> right. Mrs. Uh, the Fresh, Fresh Prince. Prince. And she just and showed up one show. <laughs> oh, so he married to the light skinned one. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's what Tim's marriage. Damn. Daphne so Maxwell Reed. Yeah, and she just walked right to the gig. Yeah. So. Wow. They got it. Morally, that's and was not... on for the next four was it four years right. or three years? So they didn't morally years? discuss her at home. Oh. But anyway, we were happy that they came. This is what we yeah, do right. here at Fox O Radio. Call in 8772 Don't get too sensitive. Yeah, Shit. don't get too sensitive. Not when Kyle, when Kyle don't is, take it personally. Just so, take it. Go ahead, Chuck. Weigh in. Well, I got to say something here. I came back. I was here, what, three weeks ago, four weeks ago? Yeah, right. right on this that is Director Chuck. Chuck Vincent, by the way. Stay right hey, on that mic, Chuck. I just had to say something to several men in this room. Jamie Foxx, yeah. you stepped up to the plate. Yeah. I had a request. Mm-hmm. Chris Spencer, who else helped? Oh, Mr. Greg Shelf, Mr. Marcus Mr. King. Gray, Marcus King. We have Speedy. some of the best promos of color, of heart, out there on the internet. They're going to start airing next week. Right. I can't have to come back and say thank you for stepping up oh, to vote. You know, we on this campaign. Who you bringing? Right. It's just blowing up. Right. Right. And everybody's been looking at the debates. Right. How many of you guys done kicked your TV set in? Looking at some of these debates, because yeah. I, I want to take my hand around. Well, I, th- this. I think what happens is, is this: is that this is what we got to be careful on both sides, that we don't become so volatile and so angry at each other that when Barack Obama, who I believe is going to win, when he does become president, you're going to have half of America the country, yeah. so mad at him that he's because president. and mad at him for the wrong reasons. Yeah. You got people yelling at him not because of policy, not because of where he stands on economics. Not because of where he stands as being a a a, 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 a public uh, uh, helper, uh, uh, community community mm-hmm. leader, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but now you have started a propaganda machine of saying he's a terrorist yeah. and that he's a nationalist because they and treason. He's gonna bring those people it. to the and, White and, House. And, and this is what is ha- this is what's happening. You're making it very very hard for people to get along. And what you're going to do is you're going to get this side upset. Something weird is going to happen. And then everything is going to go wrong. Right now, what you need to do is is say, listen, let's just talk about policy. Let's run on policy right. and run on what we can do to change this country. Right. And then if we can't do that, if you can't win like that, Did then say, move? hey, listen, I lost, but I'm going to help you. Mm-hmm. But right. right now, what's going on with the politics of Sarah Palin and what they're doing is they're doing a disservice to Sarah Palin. 
because Sarah Palin came into the game, which I thought, in as far as what Republicans were concern, was, was concerned, as a great candidate for them, for Republican base. But yeah, it was uh, last minute. But it was last minute. But what they're doing now is they're using her as this crazy attack dog yeah. and attacking in such a way that is making people very angry. And it's like I really got to give props to uh, Michelle Obama, she who did chain. Larry King, right. Right. who right. was just she. She was exactly what you needed to be. She said, "This is just politics." She wasn't angry about it. But people are slowly getting angry. And then what McCain has to do. Get beyond some of the small stuff and the same thing, the earmarks and da 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 da. That's not going to help us right, right now. Right. So in, in in order for us to to enjoy the debate, both of these candidates are going to have to talk about other things because what we've heard in the past two debates are the same thing. Right. But McCain, for whatever reason, won't let Barack speak out on other things because he keeps bringing up. This guy the same either. thing, and the, this guy, and, the, and so, so what? What has happened? We've seen this before. What Republicans do when they are down, they get very, very, very nasty. Mm. So we want everybody to keep a cool head on both sides. But let's get out to the polls. Let's vote, and then once we do win, because I believe Barack Obama can win. But the only way we can do it is by everybody getting out there to vote and everybody chi- chiming in. But once he does win, it's going to be a lot. It's a lot of work. The, the, the great thing about this is everybody's talking. Yes. Yeah. How many how many elections have we experienced? And everybody talks. Everybody talks. Yeah. No, yeah. this is the first one. You get hyped up. You can't yeah. wait till the next day. And on people, but but at the same time, Chuck, people are losing it. Did you see Bill O'Reilly and um, oh man, man and, and Barney Frank and Barney Frank? Ooh. Bill O'Reilly said, "That's just horse shit." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he went crazy. Bill he went crazy. Bill O'Reilly went crazy on this guy. He almost made Barney Frank heterosexual. I almost think they, they did Michelle Obama when they had her on. I think they did they had her on there for a reason, thinking she would would mess up or something. And when she didn't, they didn't even talk about how well she did that day. Normally, you know, they say, oh, she did this. They didn't say anything because they thought she was going to mess up. She was also on John Stewart's show as well, and John was kidding with her about how Cindy McCain didn't yes. shake her hand or kind of snubbed her or, yeah. or something. Well, she said, debate. hey, this is all she politics. Was but she, Michelle was like, look, this is politics. you got to have a tough skin. I'm not tripping off that. I still like them, and hopefully they still like me. So. Well, see, I just want to give a couple dates here real quick Please because do. these are the swing states still in, in, in this uh, election. Alabama, and everybody take this down, and if you can't take it down, tell somebody, talk to somebody. October 24th for Alabama, that's the registration deadline. These are all deadlines. 24th, look out. California, right here, October 20th, deadline. Connecticut, the 21st for Connecticut. Delaware, October 11th. Which is tomorrow. 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 So tomorrow. make sure, don't assume that you are registered to vote. Also, there are a couple things that have been going around. Make sure you understand what you can and can't wear to vote. The Republicans are going to use any excuse that they can to not get these numbers out. And, and big shout out to Ludacris because he already voted. A lot of people in Georgia have right. already casted their votes. So right. they, they so voted, they're voting early out there. A high Loda. percentage of African Americans have already voted to avoid any conflicts on um, election day and and new york new york i'm talking to you it's today get on the internet right now and make sure you go to rock the vote dot org rock the vote dot org and register it's it's very easy to do and LaRonda sudden has just hit me with something very interesting she said all of you guys who have video cameras take a video camera down Ooh. and just video just to make sure things are on the up and up you can know what i'm saying that? can yeah. you do that i don't know and, and, We'll take, we'll take it and find out. You can't, you can't take it inside. But you can you take, can't it take it inside, but you can videotape what happens outside. Ah. And remember not to wear any Barack buttons or T-shirts, right? A hundred right? yards, yeah. Right. I'm going yards away. Don't can't wear do black. <laughs> I'm going top. <laughs> but make sure, you know, uh, uh, it's coming up real quick if you got to go to work. Get up early. The polls yes. open at 7 o'clock. They close at 8 o'clock. Get up. No excuses on this. Right. It is too important. I, I think after seeing that brother stand up at the McCain rally and say, hey, can you find something wrong? I beg of you. I, beg, I think every black person needs to go, you know what, even if you didn't before, you should have been like, okay, let me get out here and do what I need to do. 
Because I'm taking my sons and we're going to vote. Take your kids. Take your kids. I think I, that, with so, my sons alone, we should win. Yeah, let them use your minivan, little <laughs> thing. <laughs> <laughs> let them use your minivan. Speedy sons and baby mama. That's, that's at least. <laughs> but you know what we doing. That's half the state of California right there. <laughs> <laughs> how, how, many, how many of you guys went to the Million Man March? The, the one back in the 90s? Back in, in the, the day, 90s? yeah. yeah I, I was, All I'm was saying is old. get your airfare, get your hotel, because the inauguration, the oh. 20th, I'm going to be there. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be there. Everybody. I don't know where I'm going to be, but I'm going to be partying somewhere. Yeah, get that get that song from uh, yeah. uh, uh What's the name of that song? That's Luther Vandross. Uh, well, it's not uh, really so Luther. Right that's, uh, have a party. Pull up yeah. Luther Vandross and let that play underneath us right now. Yeah. Yeah, that's all the chance. That's going to be jammed. Luther Vandross. That's going to be a fun it's day. It's Jamie Foxx, Fox Hole Radio. It's really sad. 106 Cook. is Cook. going down. We've had Tim and Tom on the radio now. In the house, we got Chris Spencer. In the house, we got Chuck Vincent. In the house, we got All my kids are voting speedy. In the house, we got OG Potus. Oh, shit. In the house, we got LD. And in the house, we got His Name is Immoral. <laughs> it's immoral, but I got to say it. His last name is Back. Right. First name is Johnny. Johnny. Middle name is Motherfucker. Motherfucker. When I see him out, I said, there goes Johnny Motherfucking Mac. Mac. What is we immoral? Also, I don't get I don't that. know. But we also, have, that but we also have a singer in the house. Who we got? Oh, yeah. uh, Chance is in the house who tore down uh, Change. 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 Uh, change. Going to come. And we got Lil Ronnie in the house, super producer who produced R. Kelly's hits. Dave Brown, you gotta get up. Oh. <laughs> I'm just <Man>. saying. <laughs> Mess with Dave. Change, sit right there. Yeah. Yeah, Leave your shell, but you gotta get up. Oh, turtle. Fox, they want to laugh at that. <laughs> Shane, What's Shane, up, big dog? Shane, sit right here. Okay. Yeah. I know, dude. You just sit in her lap. No, don't, don't. That's your brother. Yeah, I know, dude. Right? Yeah. This is your brother. <laughs> you got the rest of your braids. <laughs> oh. Not talking about Lewis. the nigga that dropped out from the hair club for man. This nigga. Oh, me? Yeah, I did. Man, you got Even this nigga eyebrows We got change out. in the house. <laughs> no, yeah, let, 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 let him hold that mic. Come here. Who is it? Oh, let change come over. <laughs> what up, boy? What up? Who's, Who's in the house? Yeah, we got people in the house, boy. It's going yeah, down. Listen, yeah, going this down. this how we do on Fox yeah. Radio. Sometimes we just have dead airspace. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but we don't get in trouble for it. At but that's all. not immoral. Dead fucking airspace. That's not immorally that's not fucking right. Moral. All right, we got, all right. We got more and more, more room, man. Yeah. We we filled up. Now. We pretty much at uh, capacity. You ready? Who's it? Somebody here? Security guard about the sweets now. <laughs> well, I think while we're waiting, I'll go ahead and do a Bud Light Please spot. Do. Yeah. I'm gonna go crack one. Want to thank Bud Light for being our sponsor here at the Foxhole. Everybody, give a shout out. To Bud Light. Hey. Yeah, man. <laughs> we like to have fun here on the show, and that means Bud Light. It's the number one beer brand in America. And like we um, drink anything else, of course not. Bud Light is refreshing and great tasting with a smooth drinkability that we all like. So if you want to party, you need Bud Light. Bud Light keeps it coming and is the beer of choice for all Foxhole parties. Make it the brand you enjoy whenever you want to have a good time. Bud Light. Getting everything tuned up. Yeah, but my nine. favorite part of the show. I always love when we have musical guests. Me too. I'll be oh, glad when you rap. You won't rap. Oh, I will. I'm talking about really get into it. Nothing like bullshit. Oh, I will. Don't worry about that. Okay. Yes, I will. There comes a time. I, you know what? I love when we have musical talent, even in their, even if they're whack. I think well, nice. we've had a yeah, whack. We don't had a. We don't have some whack. I think B2, uh, the B2K guys have won. Yeah, so they were the worst niggas in the world. I see why they broke up. No, that, that wasn't the reason why. Somebody said, hey, what's your name? <laughs> Can I put this tattoo on your back? <laughs> hey, Portis, what was the, um, because Portis, you had music out in the back. What's the name of your song or your album? Simply Poetry by the Poetess. And I was also on Jamie's Peep This album. What song was that? And I still say that's, that's one of your best albums. Right? Yes. Thousand I still Island. listen to Peep This. Yes. What, what was the song you was on? How you Dog House. Do it? Let's get it Dog on. House. How you yeah. gonna act yeah. this Roof. time around? I was there in the studio when he did that. Down to the screen, I was one of the dogs. The I was there. <laughs> Y'all remember that song? That's nah, I want you man. out. We don't remember it that way. That's I want you, damn. Marvin Gaye. That was What's a bad. Some This got a chemical imbalance. <laughs> <laughs> I know because this is all the small the hair care product. This Friday. You don't want to take the shirt off? Man? You just gonna act like we don't see the stains? That nigga. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh no, Johnny Mac, you killed it when you said. Give uh, Dick Van Dyke his hair. Yeah, his, was, his hair style back. Hilarious. But people didn't like he said. People couldn't see his hair, Shit, but it was but they way laugh. Yeah, you know all the white the white people got the same hairstyle. All white folks. I thought he was still open. When they go bald, they just turn over to the side. 
All right, cool. A lot of we do heavy right now. We're, chemical we are dude heavy. Umbrella hair. In the house, ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't seen this guy on Apollo, absolutely amazing. His name is Change. He sung, uh, what was the name of that song you sung, Bob? I sang Say Yes by Flow Tree. Yeah, get on in the mic. You got to get it. You got to ah, okay. do that. Okay. Yeah. Ready? Y'all sure you, you got, got it, Larry? Yeah. You got it? And, w- and what's her name? Um, Ambrosia? Marsha. Marsha. Yeah, she yeah, killed yeah. that song. Yeah. So yeah. I can't wait to hear what she got. <laughs> Man, put a little pressure on you right there, brother. I don't yeah, I know, know, right? That was... <laughs> yeah, she yeah. took his gum out and everything. <laughs> Tell me where you're from first. Where you from? I'm from Plainfield, New Jersey. All right. Plainfield, New Jersey. Jersey. All the way. All Jersey. All the way. We got Lil Ronnie in the house. Yeah, yeah. Shout out. Lil what up, Johnny, man? What up, boy? Two light-skinned people know each other. Hey, light-skinned got a bomb. <laughs> y'all came in like y'all gonna do a light-skinned revolution and shit. The other half of the bar. They gonna do penitentiary four. I'm working on a song called Light Skin is Back. Yeah. They gotta call me. <laughs> I can play the tambourine or something, that motherfucker. The team thing or whatever that is. So Lil Ronnie's working on my album, working on Ch- Change's album. Yeah, yeah. Change, give him the history. How did you... How, when we first saw you, Tell a story about being on, on the Apollo. How did you get on the Apollo? And then how was what was that feeling like when you rocked the Apollo? Audition. Audition is the way I got on the Apollo. And uh, they loved it. And I it was funny, too, because I waited so long to get the actual response. So I didn't know if I actually made it or not. So really? so actually, actually when I, I got on the stage, it was, uh, it was a scary moment. Scary moment. Because, you know, the Apollo audience don't play. Boom! They will boo you. I got they, standing over. They come there just to boo. I got booed at the Apollo. I got standing over. Yeah. I got booed during you know my introduction. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know why they said because you was from L.A. Yeah, yeah they said yeah. that because me LA. and Speedy was coming out. And Sinbad said, and Sinbad kind of yeah. hated He's just a little oh, bit. Because what was happening was it was Sinbad's thing, and they knew I was a young gun coming up in that motherfucker. So Sinbad knew that any time you say somebody from L.A., yeah. he yeah. goes, oh, this next guy is coming from L.A. Ooh. <laughs> I was like, God damn, why you do that? So uh, I died the death of 40 of a fed goldfish. Oh, wow. I got to stand in O. bought his pants. You go to YouTube. Speedy you got to stand in O on Apollo. I didn't, but you see what happened. <laughs> <laughs> you see how the now career he's went. he's standing in the O. <laughs> <laughs> audience. All right. And so, so you finally got on Apollo. So you had to audition in front of the audience? No, 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 no. They do. I... Uh, I luckily had the opportunity to kind of bypass a little bit of the lines, so it was it was it was actually a, it was a blessing in disguise, even though I still had to wait. But um, afterwards, um, yeah, the wait on your blessing, I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> stupid. <laughs> this stupid. Oh yeah, they do that to the light skin dude. That's my brother. Speak. Oh my God. But now nah, I had to audition in front of like um, it was a, a big room, big big room, and and it was like three different people. <laughs> I had a great joke, but I am not going to. Yeah, we ain't going to hit you with the joke. I had a great Don't say big. Oh, don't man. say big. Oh, okay. Yeah, go okay. ahead, okay. Yeah, get <laughs> Now I'm curious. I want to know what the joke no, was. Oh, you don't want to know that. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Look, boy. <laughs> They're giving you a pass, man. Give you a pass. <laughs> I'm telling you. You know how this show Somebody goes. You call your hand puppet. I'm telling you. <laughs> Smiling from ear to ear. So you was in the box. Go ahead on. <laughs> <laughs> so so you, had to your, you got a chance to bypass. I'm yeah, 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 yeah. And I jumped off his lap. So I auditioned Come and I passed, it, and they called me back, and um, and I luckily was able. I had to do I had to do amateur night first, right? So before you could actually get on the show, and then um, they approached me and said they wanted. So pick these me these for, are mostly like uh, the showtime. network people or the producers and things like yeah, that. Okay. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. So they actually they actually handpick, but um, what the the real thing was the exciting part about it is that that's the last Showtime at the Apollo. That will ever be aired. What do you mean? Yeah, they're not airing Showtime at the Apollo anymore. Yeah, until somebody else. Buys. But they they still are doing Amateur Night though. But they're using the actual. But no theater. more Showtime. Nope. Nope. They serious? killed Rap City Apollo. too. They killed Rap City. Well, we don't right care there. about Rap City. I don't know. What do they say at that part? So you saying Kiki That's Shepard is unemployed now? <laughs> <laughs> you said who's unemployed? Ain't no more Kiki Shepard. <laughs> She's been unemployed, John. Wall Street done got her. <laughs> she got a new gig. She got a sick hey, can I, can, German Shepard. Can, can we acknowledge that we also have Cardinal Official in the room? Cardinal oh, Official. Has, oh, has a top, top chart record, Dangerous, doing yes, his ma'am. thing. Yes, Welcome ma'am. to the show. Thank you for having me, everybody. Somebody tell me to add Cardinal. You got to get real close on that mic. There you go. Boop, boop, boop. Talk about it, man. <laughs> What's happening, man? I mean, you already know what it is. It wouldn't be my 
duty as a rapper if I did not say that the album is in stores right now. The right. album is entitled, and this is a lot of jokes for y'all, so you can run with it. The album is entitled Not For Sale, and it right. is on sale in stores right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, on the Con Live, that's on Akon's, on Akon's label. Oh, yeah. man, I yeah. love Akon, man. You already know what it is. It features, obviously, besides myself, you know, T-Pain, give, give, give me a little, Give me a little bit of, give me a little bit of so what, you, what you do. Give me, uh, a little bit of, give me a little bit of the What you want? What the, you want? The, the single? On, 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 uh, with Akon. Oh, he did the, um, girl, I can't notice my tune. Notice you. You know the joint. Notice me. Notice me. Now do your part. Oh, yeah, that's hurt. The big dog tried to get a little kitty to purr. X-Man looking at me like a Lucifer because he knows I would deal with the case. Yes, sir. If I was the last man on earth, I would only take that girl and the search. She gives a new definition to the word curve. Got chicks in the strip club and being hers. Bodies like weapons of mass eruption. See the glass on that fat eruption. You know. Get on, nigga. Damn it. Damn it. This is called a on the Jamie Foxx show. Shouldn't freestyle, but oh well, what the hell? What you gonna do? Who knows what's coming next? Should've spelled Foxholes with a 3X. Caught an aloe shell and I spray like text. It's a little bit faster freestyle, but I'ma do it. Keep going. Meanwhile, dip the dip the dip, dip, dip came on first class. Now I'm gonna come to kick some whack rapper's ass on the microphone. You know how we do. Caught an aloe shell representing for the crew for the TDOT. This is how we do. Shit. Nigga, your shit. You should go for the Apollo, nigga. Sitting there at the foxhole, sitting at the round table with all my homies and shouties. Yeah, I ain't gone. I ain't got nothing else to think of, so I just wing this song. Sing to the ladies, sing to the ladies. Hey, hey, pretty mama, how you do? I know you see me on the radio. Yeah. I know you wanna be my house. Yeah. But she pays no pay, you know attention. Hey. Listen, all is what the girlfriend thinks. Hey. Hey. She's gonna help me the whole of her friends. Got a different, different girl every, every day, day of the week. week. It's true, I'm not trying to put a cross on you. I had to let you know. Can I come and squirt on you? Yo, we're in the house, we got uh. change. Yeah. Uh. We got my man. Cardinal for sure. Yo, uh. give me some, man. Give Give me some else. Yeah. yeah, doing the death dance is a regular tango. It ain't the star spangled. The T dot is where a lot of dreams get mangled. It's the best place in the world, but watch my angle. The evil that kids do is the evil that men spit. The cards that they play is not the ones I was dealt with. The guns that they bust ain't the ones that they make. Anybody talking the opposite I see is a fake. Come on, hard to get a deal. Easy to get a nine. It's hard to get a deal, but easy to keep lying. What? On one hand, we expose reality. Part of me explodes. With charity decoys, taps right off. Yet we continue the D boy persona. I'm a product of a lot of questionable conduct. I shake the hands of those who kill or be killed and took shots at society's ills. Burn Hollywood, burn till the check got big enough. Pop a couple pills when the kids don't sit enough. ADD, I call it PS3. I'm holding tight to my family tree. You see me? Yeah, you already know from Tell Toronto. From, baby. We from Toronto. We yeah. took that long ass flight in from Canada this morning. Oh, you know what I'm saying? God you're, damn. You're, you're Would you rap it on the plane too? Hell no. I'm gonna I'm tell you honestly if it start getting a little funky in there because no, it don't. Um, that's, that's, that's nah, because that would be Lewis. I would tell you on first class this morning. It's like they had Mexican omelets or scrambled eggs with oh, cheese, shit. and I'm lactose intolerant. So either way, I was gonna be fucked you up. You know what I'm saying? So. You know, if it, you know, if it get a little, you, you know what I'm saying? I'll put it to you this way. You <laughs> just shut it down right here on the Fox. Oh, that's yeah, how we do. do. Hey, listen, listen. Let me hear this. You're from Toronto. Yeah. But your, your, your background, your heritage. Yeah, all my family is Jamaican. You see, it wow. took a lot of mistakes until they figured out have one of us born in a place with free health care. Uh -huh. So, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. There you go. So that's why, you know, that's why they had me born uh -huh. in Toronto. But it's like, you know, every time when school let out, we, we went to Jamaica for the whole summer because wow. it was really important, you know. Uh, rest in peace to my pops. It was really important for him to know my culture, where we came from. You know what I'm saying? Wow. And I just think it's a beautiful thing. So it's only natural for me to put it out in my music and everything wow. I do. You know what I'm saying? So how, Yo, was, how was it going minute, up? First before? of all, wait a minute. First of all, oh yeah. God, we need to get that. Is that on the record? Because, I mean, a lot of pop stuff, because that's the pop 
that's getting you in the door. But yeah. that right, you on some shit right yeah, there. You, yeah. yeah. Well, now, do we get that on the album? You sure do. That song, um, that verse that I just did was actually from a joint that um features one of my. I'm sorry, Jamie. Like you ill, but one of my favorite vocalists in the game, Glenn Lewis. He also yeah, from yeah, Toronto. Glenn, yeah, Glenn, yeah. I know yeah, Glenn. Yeah, yeah, man. Me we Glenn did. Used to Share <laughs> <laughs> a few publicists, huh? 416 yeah, area code. 416-925. Yeah, man. That's a, that's a song that's called Family Tree. That's on oh, the 905. Album. Yeah, 905 yeah, 416 I used to hang out in Scarborough. Okay. Now, Oh, yeah, yeah. I said I got Toronto on my You already yeah. holy, Jamie. You, you've been doing this <laughs> for, Toronto a couple of times. for a while now. Yeah. And teaming up with Akon and being on Convict Music. Do you mm. finally feel this is happening for you? Or did you always feel that, well, you that know, way about your career? <laughs> you know what it is? I'll tell you what it is. Like, um, for me, um, somebody gave me a great quote the other day. It ain't how you start, but how you finish. You know what I'm saying? I and that. it's like, um, right about now, I just believe that God has a time for everything. So we've been murdering the underground scene mm -hmm. for a long time and been building up a lot of fans. You know what I'm saying? But right about now, Khan is helping me to kind of connect with those, you know what I mean? Those people who have no idea who, of who Cardinal is. So it's kind of crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like the single Dangerous has sold a million plus, And that's the first time I sold... A million or anything, you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> How'd you guys meet? You and Akon, million birds. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you guys meet? Million zips. Um, me and Carl hooked up because years ago, um, before he first came out with his album, um, a mutual friend of ours was trying to get him up to Carabana in Toronto. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. For all of y'all that don't know about Carabana, it's one do, of the, the biggest. You know what I'm saying? West yeah, Indian we, Parade. We've in run the, through there. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. we have tasted a few. I may have a kid up there. So. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Again. But it's like Akon, he he was never able to get across the border due to you know his quote-unquote issues and what have you but we always stayed cool we did a lot of music together and then when i got out of um i had signed a deal in 2001 to mca when i got out of that bullshit um he was like yo you know what i'm saying i need to bring you down with the family you know what i mean and, and really and truly that's what it was there ain't no that's you know fan fan dangled fantastic crazy shit it was just that we were mutual um fans of each other's music and we wanted to take it to the next level so you have fans all over the world where do you feel your biggest fan base is you know what? Um, mm. I really have no idea anymore. You know, this summer, this this whole year has been a crazy ride for me. We did a show um, with the Pussycat Dolls in in Malaga, Spain, for over two hundred thousand people on the beach. Wow! You know what I'm saying? Back beach? back in the summertime, yeah. I did you hit? No, you fuck. That's what I'm saying. The groupies, man. Talk about the groupies. Talk about the groupies. Yo, pussy, man. Yeah. All right, well, Pick well, up listen. The cat. Let, Let me pussy. smell your finger, dog. <laughs> Some Italian. Bullshit, giving me the goddamn history. Yo, talk about these battle challenges. Yo, these potentials. Y'all ready to do? Spain oh, is shit. Spain is the craziest shit. Like we was Chima. we was Damn. doing sound check, and it's like you know, it's like people on the beach in Spain. They really topless or oh, naked oh, or shit. whatever. So you know, we in there doing our thing, spinning our you game, and real our chicks is just like oiling up and rubbing yeah. down, and they're like, oh, we 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 love you, dangerous, we love that, and like it was. <laughs> Spain was shit. crazy. So did you get your mic checked? Well, let me show you. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Speedy. I'm not, I'm not even going to lie to you. Like, we did the show at uh, 2.30 in the morning, and our flight was at like 4.30. So right Nigga, after the show, we had to swimming. go right to the airport, yo. Nigga, Fuck you that. doing it all the wrong way. Nah, man. You got to get it in hey, between we got, your set. Listen, we just planted the seeds. <laughs> <laughs> we just planted the seeds when I we go back. I fucking on stage. <laughs> Noticing me. <laughs> Go back to the hook, nigga. Jamie is gyrating. Go back to the hook, nigga. Shit. The hook. So, so, because yeah, at the end of the day, it's, uh -huh. about the, it's really about the women. Red, really, it's mm -hmm. about the spoils Red. and that. Yeah. Uh, but, but you know what, man? I, man, you killed this. And a lot of people have come on the show uh -huh. and have frozen up and and can't can't do it. Well, I'm not gonna lie to you because one of my good friends um is Russell Peters, who's a comedian that's from Canada, and he's yeah. always cracking on me no yeah. matter what. And Where's he's a on? and he's a friend of mine, so what it's did, like. What did he say about you? Huh? What does he say about? Uh, he always, you know, he, you he, like he, Josh I, Howard. I mean, he. <laughs> <laughs> I know you got that before. You know I did. You already know I did. I was gonna say Mr. Potato Head, but yeah, man, keep going. Nah, I, Jay Z. Huh? Do people compare you to Jay Z at all? If they compare me, nah. The funny thing is, like me and Jay Z, we got a basketball relationship because his team sucks. So oh. you know, Jay, wherever you at, I hope they quote us on the net. Fuck the Nets and Vince uh -oh. Carter too. Uh -oh. VC all that. Oh, so Raptors shit. all day. Everybody in here was like, "What the fuck?" You mean fuck, Lakers? Fuck, you said, you said Lakers. The Nets. I want to know to my man. Change. What? Change. I want him to see. I want him the song that you sung on, on the apartment. for the audition. Give shit. me that. Give us change. that. Does he know the music? You know, the you, know, you know what I'm saying, yes, sir? Man, this is a church nigga. He go, no, no, he no. go follow a nigga. Fox, man, you know, know Fox, you know? All right. You right? You good? You Just good? do Acapulco. Just, all right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.
this only one for me yes you have made that possibility now we could take that step to see mm, said if this is really gonna be now all you gotta do is say yes all you gotta do is say yes said don't deny what you feel let me undress you baby open up your mind and just rest i'm about to let you know you make me so said all you gotta do is say yes said don't deny what you feel let me undress you babe open up your mind and just rest i'm about to let you know So you start working on your album? Now? Don't do it, Chris. Yes, yes. Damn, Chris. Yes. Don't do it. Yes. Come on, you do it, I'm going to do it. Don't do, do it, Chris. It. Chris, do it. I mean, he sings like he used to be a woman. That's how great his voice is. That's why they call him Change. Why? Because he changed into a man with his voice. <laughs> they want to yeah. sing. I don't know what to say about that. Excuse me. Uh, you said it, Chris. <laughs> Listen, man. Sometimes you got to know when now, not to. Now, to let you know what's going on right now, little Ronnie's in the house right now. Oh, man. That was they fun. are actually at my house. Sure enough. At my house, grinding. And, and coming up with songs Anything. right now, my man, Jay Sean, Jay Sean, this is and and this is the type of talent Damn, that fuck. we're talking about. This is real, man. I think it go. Warren, my man in the house, man, who's who's got behind change, man, and is making wow. this uh, work. Also, executive producer on my new video that I'm about to shoot. Uh, now, now, first, let me ask. You, now, from winning the Apollo, what do you get? Did you win? Yes, I did. I won the grand prize, which was twenty five. Twenty five thousand. Yeah. Oh, did you get the whole twenty five or after? Yeah, yeah, they, they, they gave you like the whole five, 25. six payments. But I still <laughs> owe taxes. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, we don't want a Wesley Snipes. I hired an accountant you. real quick too. Yeah. We don't want them to. You don't need Snipes. no accountant for twenty five. <laughs> <laughs> but still, yeah. you need a nigga to count it. Cause the accountant, an accountant, the accountant costs yeah. you twenty four thousand. <laughs> Shit, now, did you have people just coming out of everywhere saying, hey, I want them. <laughs> You had people I know coming out everywhere going, I want to manage you, I want to do this. I want to do. How'd you decide to go no, with them? Actually, it, it, was, strong actually, it, was, it was slow in the beginning, and uh -huh. it, was, it was a surprise to the management team that I do have. Uh -huh. But then out of nowhere, it just started, it just started popping. Just started popping. Because some people don't think that from the Apollo that people actually get deals like yeah, that. Yeah, no, a lot of people see the Apollo. Yeah. A lot of people. I didn't know that they Apollo. ain't going to see it no more. I didn't know that they yeah, paid yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't yeah, know yeah. that you got paid. I didn't know. Yeah, if yeah. you win, though, you got to. I'm saying, I didn't know it was a. It's oh. funny because they never really aired the show. Like, it was never consistent. Like, when they, when, um. We were actually supposed to, when it was supposed to air in New York, mm -hmm. it never aired on its actual scheduled time, but it aired in uh, down south. So it was like, it was like, okay, I wanted, so I wanted to tell people do? about it, but how many times did you have to do? I had to do that song every single time. How many times? How many times? Every single time. Um, the amateur night, I had to do it three times before I actually got on the show, and then on the show, I had to do it uh, actually four times. And he's only yeah. seventeen. You're seventeen. Seventeen. <laughs> 17. 
17. 17? He's got a full beard. Yeah, no. Grown face, it's baby. It's McDonald's. Yeah, it's <laughs> McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> he don't look like he's he don't look like he 15. No, he don't. Hey, but, he but, but, he but his album, working on the album right now, my album, my album is going to be out. When's it drop? Huh? My album is dropping December 16th. We having a party? So, <laughs> yeah, but as long as nobody wrecks it. <laughs> oh, that's fucked up. <laughs> Listen, my so I'm on. A, I'm about to go on a 30 day stretch of getting my whole thing together. So I'm gonna be talking to these cats, man. And, Chill. And Chill and get my stuff together. And give them a little Ronnie. Another little Ronnie. Yeah, little Ronnie. Yeah, Tell them. Let them. Let them know who who y'all you produce, man, and, and your thing. Uh, last year was a good year. Did I'm a flirt. R. Kelly. Wow. T. I. Wow. Shit. Wow. Then came back with same girl. Me and Jay Sean. Wow. R. Kelly and Usher. Wow. Uh, just got through doing Britney Spears. Wow. It's, it's all right now. Call right Jamie right. Foxx, that's gonna be the man. There you go. Hey, what's, what's, the right? we already, what's the song? We already, we already kind of like <laughs> just dabbed a little bit in oh, some shit. things that was just like off the chain, like some like well, a beautiful mix of R and B and sort of rap together. So it's like we trying to do do that whole thing. Uh, uh, I saw the house. Uh-huh. And I always want to say this guy has a blessing of a house, man. Right. And congratulations on that. Oh, congratulations on everything that's going. I got somewhere to come stay. Yes, sir. Uh, Just in case the mortgage is <laughs> hot, Atlanta. Uh, talk. About, go ahead, Johnny. Like, right. like when well, you say you produced yeah, the song, you know that means you did the music and you wrote it. What does produce the song mean? Pro- production. It, it's it's a various, but really production is making a track and then putting everything together. Writers, melodies, different things like that. So I made the tracks for those songs. I also wrote them too. So. Oh, words. So you wrote the words? Yeah, some of them. Then Rob wrote some too. Same girl, me and Jay Sean. We had that was a song we had did like two years ago. Really? And then they had so like. You just had did y'all have the same girl? Or was this a coincidence? <laughs> <laughs> no, like. <laughs> he looked at him. Like, at him nigga. <laughs> 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 he looked at him like, Man, well, not really. Really. <laughs> You in Atlanta? I know that. No, nah, it was it was just one of them things. We was just playing PlayStation, working on something. It was like, yo. Jay Sean was like, yo, I got this crazy idea, man. Same wow. girl. And I'm like, what? It's like, same girl, nigga. Then I just went in there and made oh, a beat. Same girl me too. That made me believe that. It was so, so how'd you get in touch with R. Kelly to know, for, or Usher and those guys for them? At the jungle gym. Well, yeah. I had I had did. <laughs> saw him on the playground. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Dodgeball. Hopscotch. I mean, when you was there, when they did the mole on his back, I mean, where were you at when y'all met? Hey, girl, I don't know you what know. you're talking about. <laughs> No, go ahead. <laughs> These guys, they so uncivilized, man. No, that was, a, that was a legitimate question. At the jungle gym. <laughs> uh, did y'all do it at Chuck E. Cheese? I mean, where'd y'all? Yeah. Nah, we, we did it at Chocolate Factory. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so how did you how did you get the song to him? Um, well, actually, it was a, a song that I had did. The Flirt song was a song I had did for uh, one of my best friends, Bow Wow. And then they end up doing something. Something went crazy with the label. They didn't, Bow Wow didn't want to use it as a single. Well, he oh, wanted to, right, but the yeah. label didn't want to. Yeah, I remember that, yeah. So, you know, they're all one big family as far as what is the job, Sony, mm-hmm. all that. So they worked something out that they end up giving him the song, and he was just like, really? yo, what else you got? Is that your biggest selling? What's your biggest selling song that you produced? I don't know. Sorry 2004 was a big song, too. The what was that again? Ruben Stutter. I'm sorry for 2004. Oh, that was hot, though. I thought so. he said this is my diet for 2004. <laughs> I'm diet for I'm here, I'm 2004. <laughs> I ain't going to eat it no more. Can, can I, um, can no I ask? No more hot tub. No more turkey club. <laughs> That's no awful. more hot tub. No more chicken fingers. No more chicken wings. Can uh, I tell you my story about Ruben coming to my house? No. Nah, it was crazy. Man, it was crazy. For one, for, one, for one, he comes with my assistant and his quirky ass sees Ruben come in the house and he rushes out to McDonald's and comes back with all his money. I said, what are you doing? A $100 worth of McDonald's. A $100 worth of McDonald's. I said, no, I just saw him coming in. I just, I just thought maybe he was, I said, man, I don't think he going to want you. I said, you want it? Yeah, shit. That's <laughs> why I can even get it out. <laughs> Leave it in the bag, nigga. <laughs> I'll unwrap it with it the was, seat. He thought so it was a wrap. Right. So this is the story. I... I, so I get my little shit together because I usually get like a six, you know, six pig nugget, and then I get the uh, quarter pound of cheese, and I put the McNuggets on the quarter pound of cheese, and I put the little the honey mustard on it, and I smash it together. <laughs> then I close the box so I let it marinate. And then I set it, I set it down. I, set my fri- I got a whole little thing, so I set my fries down. I said, God damn it, I ain't got my drink. I have my drink. <laughs> so I went to the refrigerator to get my drink. As I opened the refrigerator, I closed the refrigerator, get my drink, and I look, and Ruben is sitting behind my food. <laughs> you scared? You scared? So now I'm at a point. Uh, now I'm at a point. Do, do I lose my shit? <laughs> do I step up like a man and say, "Hey, that's my shit. That's my shit." <laughs> 
so so I so what I did was I politely went over to the table and said, Hey, anybody seen my food? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm looking right at Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> and he the only person in the room. But he just he, he the only person, he just opens the shit and said, Nah, player. <laughs> <laughs> and just eats my shit and I'm just sitting there like, God damn, I, I'm fucked out my McDonald's. So he ate his shit, my shit. My shit. And then he sat down <laughs> and fell asleep. Yep, that yeah, he showed was in, it. He was in, it was like he went into, like it was a coma for him when he got to, <laughs> that last McNugget. He just <laughs> <laughs> it was a sleeping pill McNugget. <laughs> he could play he could play table tennis. Yeah, it's, it'll scare you. He, he could play table tennis. Yep. But if you hit it by him, that's the game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he stepped on it. He stepped on it. Now it's on the burger. He put the ping pong on yeah, the burger. Didn't get that. <laughs> Can I? Um, I wanted to ask Carter. Though, are you currently on tour, or where could people see you? So, man, we uh, we everywhere. We out here tonight at West Covina at Paparazzi. Then we in um, Vegas, two spots this weekend, and then we fly back up to Canada for a joint. Then we're gonna be in Atlanta for the Hip Hop Awards next week. Then we're gonna do a little East Coast promo run. Then we're going to Europe because the album is launching out there. So we're gonna be in. Uh, France, Germany, and the UK. Oh, you go fuck. Yeah, then we. Co- <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> but at the same time, you are. Yeah. <laughs> and I want you to video to it yeah. and bring put it, it on a flash and, and put it to my email. <laughs> What's I, your email? I, I want, let me look at you, boy. <laughs> <laughs> let me see what you're working with, boy. I want to see your neck, nigga. You Yo, better turn it over. That's, that's going to be my pickup line for like the whole tour. Jamie told me to do it. Jamie, so, you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, do doing it, it for Foxhole. But yeah, we, we literally going to be everywhere around the globe um, yeah. up until um, November. November, we get to take a week break. We're going to Jamaica because, you know what I'm saying, my homeboy getting married. Jamaica, Jamaica. Yeah. Jamaica, Jamaica. What, Jamaica what do you on. think of um, Jamaica Queens. reggaeton? Or, or is that how you would describe your music? No. Or some of your music? Or? No. No. Not at all. Oh, shit. No, reggae, reggae, reggaeton is cool, but it's like I don't, I don't speak Spanish. And the thing oh, about, and okay. you know, what I'm saying, okay. and it's like the thing about um, reggaeton also is pretty much the same beat for the yeah. most part. What? So it's like I can't really distinguish between. Is songs. he really seventeen? What you, what you, yeah, what you know about <laughs> Barrington Levy? Was at my house, nigga. I'm gonna tell you. I spoke to Barrington last night because we just did a brand new song called No War that features myself, Lil Wayne, and um. I think he said he also put Busta on that shit. So look out for a new bearing tip. Who wants to fuck with Busta? I should just the bank. And look the fuck with Brain say, snitches. Barrett Levy was at my house. Word. Uh, it was incredible how he broke things down. Mm-hmm. I don't know if he uh, did he share anything with you. Or? I mean, I've been, I, you know, I grew up on Barrington. I knew right. him for for a little bit now. Wow. So you know what I'm saying. Just so, that's something else to be for. There's a lot yeah. of great talent coming from Jamaica. Yeah. Uh, call that out. Yo, and Barrington is actually um we getting them on the remix for uh my next single that features Miss Carrie Hilson. It's called um wow. we did over the tide is high number one. Wow. Yeah, we did that Thanks over. We, sh- we shot yeah we shot the video last week in Miami. It was absolutely Jesus. crazy. So look out for that new single. You know what I'm saying? Number one, the tide is high. Yes. Carrie who? Carrie Hilson. Hilson. So Lil Ronnie, like? Lil Ronnie, the people know. Did that somebody you, bring her up on the thing? So the people knows in Atlanta that you wrote these songs and stuff. Yeah. Has, has it elevated your uh, count of uh, women? I mean, honestly, I've been light skinned all my life. So yeah, it I don't want to be no problem. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Like, it's, Ain't that a bitch. It's, 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 it's the same. It yeah, is. I just want to know, you know, when I change, come through, I'm going down change, to the October. Change, now, you're in a very unique situation. You're trying to find your voice now. It's uh, yes. you, 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 you quoted a style that you, this is an opportunity for you to tell the masses of what type of style you, you're looking for or that you are going to do. Urban soul. Urban, Urban soul. soul. Okay. What is Urban Soul? I want, I want to be a young Marvin Gaye. Oh, oh shit. shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's hot right yeah. there. I want to be a young Marvin Gaye. So, yeah. you know what I mean? That's, you know that's any Marvin songs? For. You know any Marvin Gaye songs? What's going on? No. What's going on? What's going on? Yeah. <laughs> this nigga ain't no 17. <laughs> yes, he is. He's 17. Listen to the 17. I Want it's You McDonald's. album, man. It's McDonald's. The Marvin Gaye I Want You album. Marvin Gaye, I want yeah, you that'll be a nice. You said you want him. No, that's oh, you talking about that shit? It's you. Jamie Foxx, Fox on Radio, Serial <laughs> Squirrel Six. It's going down. What's cracking? Other, Other than the crack of your ass. ass. In the house we got Little Ronnie. In the house we got Change. In the house we got Cardinal Official. Yeah, Damn. Boop, boop, in the house we got Yo, it's Speedy. Baby. I don't know why the fuck he keeps doing that. In the house we got OG Powers. Oh shit! Oh shit! In the house we got. Uh, LD, Lustig. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> Five 
love this nigga. Whoa. And in the house, we got stage manager for Carter now. <laughs> Johnny motherfucking Mac. Johnny motherfucking I'm gonna Mac. We're going to take a break, and we coming right back, man. It's hot today. That's it's hot. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yo, we'll Yo, back for a quick break. Yeah, that's that my man's song. That's your yeah, song. Yeah, Mr. Carter now. That's Carter now. Yeah, Carter now. How'd you, how'd you get that name? Cardinal. Uh, it's, it's a bullshit ass story. Just history class, you know what I'm saying? We studied um a cardinal, cardinal oh, Richelieu. You know what I mean, cardinal. some some French tyrant. And I, I just took his name. If oh, so, I that's can... his whole name. No, 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 no. Everything I do is official. So that's where Cardinal Official. If I can burden this young man one more time, change to give me something else. I, I'm not, you know. I just thought the way you song was sing was he incredible. Was moist. He was nah, moist. I wasn't moist, Speedy, but I was loose. <laughs> I was loose. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Loose. I just want to see you. Give he me your saying. brother can say. That shit was, it was crazy. Who, who, who are some of your singers that you inspired you? you got, I got to ask some questions. Get to know about him first, Speedy. Okay. All he said was six words. Just keep eating, Speedy. Let me do this. <laughs> <laughs> Name, like some of the people that influenced you, like some of the songs, the, the lyrics, and the, the singers that influenced you. Wow, well, it's, 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 it's a lot sure of do. people. It's a lot of people. It's funny, though, because I got into music. I got into music way late. Is these niggas fighting outside the studio? What's going on? <laughs> Go ahead. Chris Prince's first. I had, I had started listening to music like way late. It was around like a, the age of 11 when I really started getting into it. But my mother and my father, they used to play. My mother was a big uh, Roberta Flack fan. Uh. Um, uh, big Anita Baker fan. Uh. Every Saturday morning, she would be cleaning the house. And right. you heard Anita Baker and that smooth That's voice the in, in the background. Um, my father was an Al Green and Cameo fan. Cameo. <laughs> cameo. Word yeah. up. Word up. Right, exactly. Al it was, it was, it it was around the world. The real motherfuckers don't know. All the boys and girls. Tell your brothers, your sister, and your mama too. Because we're about to go down. And you know there's what to do. Wave your hands in the air if you don't care. Do your dance, do your dance, do your dance quick. Now, uh, come on, baby, tell me what's the word, the word of. Now, let me ask you this. Everybody had to hear What was the group that, that Cameo produced? Confunction. No. no. But he did, he did Bobby uh, Brown. He no, did a song for It was a group that had their own group. Oh, shit. Uh, Mickey Sir. Howard. And it came out on this the 45. Na- name a song. Name a song. Yeah, the name of the group was Cash Flow. I remember Cash Flow. He had that one song. That one, one song. That's right. If you're reaching out. <laughs> that's right. To hold me. That's right. I'm reaching out for you. Cash Flow. You got to be a music connoisseur, yeah, Speedy. Man. That does people tell you. Either that or you're going to be old. Could you remind fuck. me like us? us. That's, that's the 80s, man. 90s. Shut up. Smoking No Fuck. Have you ever got that? That you kind of yeah, resemble? Yeah. I've, got, I've gotten that comparison, and I've gotten a Maxwell comparison a lot, too. But really? you sound like Maxwell. Maxwell. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. I can see, see that. I can see that. Same size as the Afro. That's the Afro. You ever really? Seen the Maxwell <laughs> concert? Yeah. Nigga, yeah he's kind of he's kind of Johnny Mac loves Maxwell. Johnny Mac. I seen him. Johnny Mac will buy Leonard's suit in a minute and let his braids out. He's a dreadlock. I do. I Johnny Mac will get a linen suit, nigga, and some open toe shoes. With a toe ring on it. <laughs> With a toe ring, nigga, let us all his brains so open out. Open shit. And be by his motherfucking self. <laughs> I do. I, I'll tell you, the Maxwell shit, the Maxwell comes It's out, incredible, man. huh? Nigga, I had to leave that shit, uh, man. I thought he was I had good. I had to let the girl I brought, I had to let them stay because I knew it was strictly for them because the nigga come out and, and he had, you know, he had the braids at the time and he turns his back to the audience. And he take his braids out and just shake his braids. Sometimes like, you gotta shake hey, them. Hey, look, but when he shake your braids, and the, I, had, I was like, I was like, what's the start? And the bitches, oh, oh Lord, the bitches, <laughs> they went crazy. I said, you know what? And then I knew something was going on because the girl I was with let go of my hand because we were holding hands. <laughs> so this nigga subliminally fucked my back. <laughs> so your publicist let your hand go? Uh, no, I was, I was, I was, with, I was with the brown thing at that oh, time. Oh, okay, my bad. Hey, I, I love that. He subliminally shit. fucked my girl right there in front of me. I said, well, I'm gonna get on out to the cassette. <laughs> <laughs> he be acting kind of goofy on stage. I think that's what really. No, he don't. Just that one you know, time. He, he does a little goofy shit on stage. I went stage. to see, I went to see him and and uh uh. uh Angie Stone, right. yeah. Angie Stone, yeah. and Max. I saw him nigga. in Vegas. In Vegas, you ever? No, I was in L.A. Nigga, you Vegas. ever want to like really like? Stone do you want to go see Angie Stone, yeah. Maxwell? Yep. Only thing Maxwell did one little thing where he went, guys, I just I feel so goofy, goofy. and I went. Oh, oh. That's what let me wow. know that someone. Hey, 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 be nice. Maybe he didn't hit my bag. 
<laughs> Maybe he hit your baby's Maybe brother. Maybe he's trying to hit on me. <laughs> yeah, he just did her hair. <laughs> and makeup. Uh, no, Maxwell is a good, Maxwell is a good comparison. Yeah, I, I, would, I would get smoking North Park before, you know. But he was going to sing another song, Justin, man. You don't know shit. Uh, yes, what? No, I got to. What time is it? Song. He going to sing the last song, five. He, he got a song. He got a song, five. He going to sing a song and we going to take us on out. We waiting on you, change. All right. I never dreamed of you leave in summer. I thought you would go, then come back home. Album not for sale in stores now. <laughs> I thought the cold would leave. By summer, but my quiet night will be spent alone. You said there would be one love in springtime, baby. That is when you started to be cold. On Con Light Records. I never dreamed you'd leave in summer. But now I find myself. Stay. That's a crazy song. It go all them crazy key changes. <laughs> Incredible. Oh, Incredible. Call them Incredible. out. Incredible. Shit. Carlos album is in stores. In stores right now. Right now. Right, right now. now. Yeah. Make sure you get that. Get it, my. Poetess. And Not before we go, got to give a big thank you to Bud Light. They are our sponsor here at the Foxhole. Everybody, raise your bottles and welcome Bud Light as a sponsor to the show. Trigger. We would like to ha- we like to have fun here on the show, and that means Bud Light. It's the number one beer brand in America. In America, like we would drink anything else. Bud Light is refreshing and great tasting with a smooth drinkability we all like. So if you want to party, you need Bud Light. Bud Light keeps it coming and is the beer of choice for all Foxhole parties. Make it the brand you enjoy whenever you want to. Have a good time, Bud Light. Well, when you're her. coming over, Jamie, uh, that song uh, stuck uh, in my head. I hope you on your uh, way the whole uh, time. Uh, uh, I bought a dozen roses. Uh, uh, yeah, been waiting here all day. Yeah, keep going, Fox. Mm. Oh, go, yo, turn it up. Keep, turn it up. I don't think it's plugged in. Put the mic, the fly girl beat on. Yeah, what, what, oh, it's not here? Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, the that's what we do. We improvise. Score, you get it on the fly. fly. There you go. Oh, there you go. When you're coming, wait, wait. When you're coming over, uh. I hope you on your way. I'm born a dozen roses. Uh-huh. Been waiting here all day. Yeah. 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 yeah, you keep singing. I get us on out of there, Pop. Yeah. It's been a stone cold blast. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we, we had Tim and Tom. We had Tim and Tom, the great comic duo. Brought it now, bless us. <laughs> My man, little Ronnie, was incredible. I'm coming to Atlanta. Keep the lights getting ready for us. Yes, sir. And my man, Tans, was there. Of course, you, your yeah, boy is yeah. dynamic. You go in places. I'm going to make the video and get all the little loose ones you don't want. <laughs> and we're going to go out with the Jamie Foxx. I love this song. Yo, it's Jamie Foxx, man. When I look to the right of me, I see downtown LA. Uh. I, see, I see Lil Ronnie, super, super producer. I see all my homies. I will go to war with. Shout out to all of my troops, man. We still Shout love out. you, man. Love you, boy. To everybody, when I look to the left of me, I see beautiful diamond double D. Beautiful. Man, beautiful. I want some of that for Christmas. Uh. Yo, when I look beyond that, I see Beverly Hills. I got changed. I got collar now. Free. All of my homies, I'm going to tell you one thing. When I die, heaven better be off the chain. Because I'm having a ball right now. Fox on Radio, Sirius 106. We out. Keep going out. I need you to help me right there, man. It's Jamie Foxx, man. 
Barack Obama, we behind you, baby. Let's let's change America. He's gonna win, baby. Let's change the world. Right. Let's give Barack a ride to the White House.